Hello everyone, welcome, 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 merry, 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 merry Christmas, also almost happy new year, hope everyone is well, hope everyone's everyone had a lovely, lovely time, hope everyone enjoyed the cup win on Wednesday, that was quite nice wasn't it, we got ourselves a cup and, and that means we are now a third of the way through, not a third of the way through, that's completely bullshit, a tenth of the way through, we're 10% of the way through, uh, the British Steel Challenge with three trophies out of a possible 33, we won a trophy because and I'm 99% sure it's because of the fact we ate a whole trifle on stream therefore we need to survive relegation tonight so we have another trifle I don't know if that's how it works but at this point I'm willing to try because we need to survive right we need to survive and if it wasn't the trifle then it might have been the knockoff Baileys so we're back again <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do it. It's Christmas. We're allowed to do this. This is how it's going to do it. So it'll be fine. Let's see what's ahead of ourselves tonight, shall we? Welcome, one and all, to Dungannon, Tyler Swifts. Um, still haven't got any references. We will hopefully be getting some references as we go through. Welcome in, Dan. Dan's re Dan's streaming tonight. Welcome in, buddy. Nice to see you. Hope you're well. In fact, Dan doesn't normally uh, do a stream, so there you go. Have a... Have yourself, buddy, have yourself a shout out there. And hopefully, uh, how was the stream, by the way? How was it? Hope it was a good one. Evening, Raggio. Evening, A15. Evening, Barton. Evening to A Matter. How the devil are we all? This, of course, as we say, Dungan and Swifts, the current Mid Ulster Cup champions. That's right. You can't take that away from us. Uh, that is the thing. That's more of a. Um, more of a um, it's not Rick Astley that's a, that's a Chesney Hawks reference right there so I can't get me Taylor Swift ones I can get me Chesney Hawks ones in though but this is what we do Middles to Cup Final we beat Warren Point 2-0 Mark Walsh with the first goal Dara McBrien with the second 3 minutes and 83 minutes we hit exactly when we needed to look at this Campbell pulls it back Walsh beautiful finish bang Caught them early doors, they weren't expecting that. And then of course this is right at the end. Walsh, what a ball that is. Turns provided this time with Brian with the header. 2-0 and we won the cup. Damn right show my age with Chesney Hawks references. This is going to be a discussion point for tonight, by the way, A15, right? This is going to be a long-term discussion for this evening. It was a conversation myself and Mrs. J had in the car up and down to the northeast this week because we've been to see my parents uh, yesterday. Um what was better for music 80s or 90s that's that's the quite i want to find the answer for that okay i am i'm setting my style out for the 80s but I, she's things in the 90s and i'm like nah, nah 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 banger for banger pound for pound i reckon the 80s better overall and i include brit pop in that i fucking love brit pop right just just songs in general a15 like think of a banger think of like an amazing song and then just try and like sort of stack them up and just see sort of like where we get to. I reckon the 80s are better. Although potentially 90s dance music might have been better. But then there was 80s Acid House. So I don't know. 2000s are dreadful matter. That's, that's not even going to be considered. Uh, there we go. There we go, Dan. We have our trifle for this evening, of course. Um, 2000s are awful for music. Awful, awful, awful. 80s. 80s is where it's at, right? That's what I'm thinking. Mrs. J is always right. The 90s is better. Look, think about this, though. Think about this. Rashi, all right. Michael Jackson in the 80s or Michael Jackson in the 90s? Which one? Which It's Michael Jackson in the 80s, isn't it? If it's um, Metallica in the 80s or Metallica in the 90s, which one? Metallica in the 80s. Bon Jovi in the 80s is better than Bon Jovi in the 90s. 
Madonna was better in the 80s. Best pop song of the 80s is Buffalo Stands by Nana Cherry. There we go. What a track as well, by the way, to uh, to come out with. Buffalo Stands is an absolute banger. Live Aid, better in the 80s. They didn't even have it in the 90s. They couldn't even be bothered. I like the fact Rich Owens has said the 90s gave us Oasis, so the 80s wins by default. <laughs> and I'm a huge Oasis fan. Uh, but welcome in to Rich Owens, by the way. A huge shout, of course, to Mr. Popular himself, Rich Owens. If you haven't already done so, please go and drop the man a follow. And drop, drop Dan a follow as well, by the way. Didn't realize he was streaming tonight, so go and drop Dan a follow um, on there as well. This, of course, we've got ourselves, if I can count, uh, and I believe I can, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven league games left before the split of course we are going to be in the relegation playoffs no spoilers there we are not going into the top half of the table that's going to take some swing in fact mathematically it's not even possible for us to overtake uh, cliftonville at that point we will be in the in the relegation battle right um as long as we're not bottom at the end of the season we're fine okay i think we can get into the relegation battle playoff thing can we go above that i don't know i don't know like, it would be great if we could, but who knows? Dan finds Oasis overrated. D Dan, come on. Come on now. That's a, that's a wild statement to make. Absolutely wild statement to make. Very much not overrated. Oasis were incredible. Incredible. Also as well, the transfer window closes tomorrow, and we have no cash to sign anybody. And it looks like um, players are leaving left, right, and centre, so that also makes things a little bit tricky. Um, I'm not offering contracts for anybody because we don't know whether they're, what league we're still going to be in next season. We also don't know if we're still going to be here next season, of course, as well, because we are potentially casting our eyes elsewhere. Because obviously we moved to um, to Dungannon just to get a trophy. We got ourselves a trophy. Now, question is, do we hang around in Northern Ireland again, running the risk of potentially being relegated? Or do we start thinking, well, maybe now's the time to sort of spread the nest a little bit and, and see what we've got. So, I mean, looking around, it's slim pickings at the minute, though, to be honest. Um, Trefellen in the Welsh, in the Cymru South. There's Dulwich Hamlets in the National League. I mean, they're about to be relegated into, into National League South. That'll be fun because Dulwich Hamlet are a pretty cool club. Colwyn Bay in, uh, in the Cymru Premier. Landudno Junction, still down there in the, uh, in the Cymru North, but they might potentially be in the relegation playoff because they are bottom so they might not even be there uh, next season so that might not be a team that we can even look at going to manage so we do have to keep our eyes a little bit open on who potentially could be stevenage i think are going to be a little bit too high for us uh, at this point a 15 where are stevenage they're currently actually they're national league south are they down that far prime gaming i mean to be fair if they're pretty much sponsored by twitch so that's pretty good we could get that. 90s had the Simpsons, Mr. Blobby and Zig and Zag. Is that even a competition? I mean, I don't know. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? The Simpsons, absolutely. But Mr. Blobby and Zig and Zag, I'm not, I'm not convinced for, personally. But, but think about this, though, right? Think about this. Wham, better in the 80s. Cle clearly, clearly. Slim fit. Now, there's a Brit pop band you can set your watch to. Uh, menswear as well, also fantastic. And um, garbage and sleeper. Ken Belly, what came first, the chicken or the egg? I mean, if you if you believe uh, in anything, Ken, it was um, God. So God came first, and then he created the heaven and the earth, and presumably everything at once was made on, like, day two. Just did it all. Like, you know, he made chickens, he made eggs, he made windows, trousers were on day nine, I believe, because no one really had trousers until the, the end of the first week, and they went, God, Got any trousers on, mate? Um, Want to help us out here? So he made uh, chickens, he made eggs, he made windows, he made um, uh, he made coasters, knives, and um, and steak. So yeah, first week, all made at the same time. That's what I think. Or if you're fucking a chicken or an egg, the chicken probably comes first, because you know that's. Don't know how an egg could come, possibly. Evening, everybody, by the way. It's time for some trifle. Um, <laughs> true story, a member of menswear managed one of my cousin's bands back in the day. I mean, look, there you go, Rich. Like, 
menswear are wonderful, wonderful, wonderful show. Uh, Kinnicky as well. God bless Lauren Laverne and all who sail in her. That's what I say. Um, when I was in a band back in the 90s, we um, we recorded our our demo in the same um, in the same recording studio that Kinnicky and the Lighthouse family used. So there you go. That's Northeast music trivia for you right there. It wasn't that good because he never made FM for 2,000 years. Well, I mean, also, night he didn't exist. So it does does really um, create problems there with, with things that he could invent, doesn't it? So it's tricky, that one, isn't it? You know? Like, I get it. He probably, you know, If he was real, he'd probably be sitting there going, I could do with some sort of football management-based simulation here. Um, but, you know, not existing is a bit of an issue. Um, it's the number two studio. <laughs> it's no number two studio at Abbey Road. It's not, Rich, and that's the thing. Because you still have a band, and you were in Abbey Road. Several, several artists, of course, uh, have used uh, Abbey Road, um, but Kinnicky and the Lighthouse family haven't. So I don't know who wins there. That's not one that's going to get me cancelled, Dan. Don't worry. There's going to be other things I've said that'll get me cancelled, other than the non-existence of some sort of religious deity. You know. No, I'm pretty sure that uh, Twitch don't like people drinking on stream, so let's give you that. Uh, here, of course, is the uh, is the board. They're not. They don't like me. They don't like me. To... <laughs> like we've won them a cup, and they hate me. They genuinely like. The fuck are you still doing here? <laughs> like, I'm like, I've just won you a cup, mate. Like, come on, chill out. Um, the fans are a bit more so. I'm like, nah, eh, whatever. Give the guy a chance. But yeah, the board not overly happy um we've reached 200 games in management somehow don't understand how uh, but here we are it's not it's not all been it's not all been plain sailing has it it's been a bit up and down and um given the fact that this this challenge is meant to be about winning things we've not really followed that challenge to the letter have we we've gone for some entertainment vibes um as we go through so that's kind of the way we'd expect to do it to be honest um you know let's have a quick little look uh, at where we go shall we so what's the win percentage in 200 games um that's a good question actually let's have a little look we can have a look at our profile here um win percentage is 40 percent i mean is that is that good or bad don't know don't know We need to think about that. It's not the worst. It's not the worst percentage. It could be. It could be worse. Forty percent is generous. <laughs> Barton reckons twelve. I mean, we've won eighty games. We've lost seventy-one though. We've scored two hundred seventy-one goals and conceded two hundred fifty-five. We're not. We've got a goal difference of plus sixteen over two hundred matches. That's not brilliant. That's not brilliant. But I think that shows that we've just ground some stuff out here, you know. Uh, Reese, I was literally speaking to a mutual friend about you today and the chances I've found you. Well, welcome in, Reese. Appreciate you being here. Um, hope you've brought a trifle because that's obviously what we have to do um, these days now is only deal entirely in trifle-based uh, conversations. But um, but no, appreciate you being in. Hope, hope, you, uh, hope you're well. I won't ask who your mutual friend is, but if you want to send me a DM, you're more than welcome to do so. Just send me a little whisper. But um, anyway, welcome in. Appreciate the follow. Hope you've had a lovely Christmas. Hope New Year looks good for you. Um, I'm not sure who, if you um, if you play FM yourself. If you do, let me know who you're managing. Let me know how you're getting on. Uh, likewise, as well, with anyone else who's brand new in the chat, please feel free to let us know how we're getting on. Razio, 40% is not bad. Mine's at 50 and 224 in British Steel at the minute. 50%. All right, okay, I've got something to, something to aim towards now, have I? Slobodar have signed uh, Ivan Vukovic, so the Vuk's gone back to Serbia. Bit of a shame, that one. If he hadn't have injured his leg, we might have been able to go in for him, but we also have no money, by the way. If anyone's wondering why we're not trying to sign players because of the deadline, the transfer window's open. We have zero cash, okay? We're over wage budget by 900 quid. 
we're pretty much playing with what we've got. We've tried as well to uh, to get ourselves some some loans in, but everyone wants money for their loan players, which is really, really frustrating. So we can't really do much with that. So it's going to be with make and do with whatever we've got, and what we've got isn't particularly good. So, yeah, it's going to go to the wire. It's going to go right to the wire. Reese, journeyman, started in Bulgaria, made them into a decent group stage team. Taking a break because my heart can't take any more disappointment. Oh, if you want disappointment, Reese, you've come to the right stream. You have come to the right stream because we are full of disappointment right here. That's all we've got. That's all we've got. AJ, how are you, buddy? Happy Christmas. Merry New Year. Hope you're good. Congratulations yesterday on tag. Is it tag team turmoil? Was that the um, was that what yourself and state bit one? So excellent to see. Beautiful work. Well played indeed. Hope uh, hope life's treating you good. Raz, you're there. Cass needs to be renamed the Steel Goat. Cass is crushing it, isn't it? Aren't they? They are absolutely hammering it. They've got like some like eleven trophies or something under the, under their belt right now, which is amazing. Absolutely amazing. But that's not to say that we can't. We might not, but you know, let's let's at least try. Let's at least try and get there somehow. Um, this, of course, is going to be just trying to grind our way towards the end of the season. Hopefully, we can get over the line and we'll be we'll be grand. We'll be grand. And if we're not grand, doesn't matter. We'll leave and we'll go and find someone else because that's pretty much how it's going to work. We will take our toys and we will leave. So. That's all we've got. That's all we've got. Literally just going, nah, fuck it. It's our ball. We're going home. See you later. We could ease our relegation worries. We could, but are we going to? Big question. Unsure about an answer, of course. Rajo, if we don't try, you don't fail. I mean, <laughs> succeed. <laughs> exactly. Do or do not. There is no try. That's the, that's the, uh, that's the Yoda saying, isn't it? Is that right? Do or do not, there is no try. And we're playing Warren Point. We've just beaten them in the cups. So we need to give them another another beam. We also have a game in hand of a banger, which could become quite handy towards the end of the season. Could become handy. We shall see. So also a feeling that Warren Point might want a little bit of retribution from that uh, from that cup final defeat. Plus as well, by the way, what is also interesting, we are still in the Northern Irish Cup as well. Okay, we're in the second round. Now, aficionados of the Northern Irish Football League structure will know that if we win the Northern Irish Cup, and I know this is like a huge, like, you know, a huge if, okay? If we somehow win the Northern Irish Cup, not only do we tick off another achievement, we actually end up getting, we actually end up in Europe next year, which I know it's not part of the of the sort of things that we need to be looking at trying to achieve, but, you know, be interesting, wouldn't it? If we walk away from a club, we'll have to get them into Europe. Because I think we pretty much are thinking that maybe, maybe this might not be uh, the team for next year. As we're already a goal down. Do or do not, there is no try. Yoda, Michael Scott. <laughs> nice work, Rich. Nice work. By the way, if you're a subscriber, by the way, uh, there is now a, that's what she said anymore. So, if you're not a subscriber, you want to get on it. Do it through Amazon Prime, though, because then it's free. Don't cost you anything. Link your link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch. Get a free sub. Goes towards helping the channel out. Yeah, we also have this one as well, which is quite nice. Uh, Days since last nonsense, zero. Clearly. Gallagher, Fisher. Plays it back, nice. Jones, Gallagher. Walks with the header. Of other players turn up for the cup final now. Normal services resumed. Ah, oh, bunch of slackers down on the show ponies. A lot of them. Mercenaries, they're in it for themselves. Wait a second, am I mic'd up? Can they hear me? Walsh over the top. If they can hear me, then good. They deserve to hear me. Thanks, Rich. I have to try something, right? Crawford Donnelly. 
Here's Gallagher. Keeps going. Has a go. I don't like the fact we're playing one up front, by the way. I know we have to play a 4 4 2, but we've sort of like tried to tweak a few bits and pieces to see if we can get something else working. And we're like, let's just try and. Wrong thing to say right now. The idea is let's try and be difficult to play against. Obviously, we're 1 0 down. We've had 13 shots, though. We're not scoring, that's a problem. But there's definitely something we there's definitely something in the team and what that is I don't really know you know also as well players are knackered they're like they're having to essentially sort of like we don't have a, a lot of squad depth and the uh, the players we've got the first 11 and I'm not saying that the first 11 are good but they are so much better than the backup players and it's so noticeable to even consider dropping somebody to be like right you know you can come out and it's like oh, why would I bother right I'm, I'm literally playing with 10 men at this point like central midfielders we've got two players in on loan one has come from uh, Hartlepool and we had him on loan at Banbridge when we were in the third division of the Irish football and we now have him on loan again in the Premier Division Northern Irish football. That's that gives you an indication as to the sort of level that we're at in terms of like who we can attract. Of course, the fans hate the idea he's here. Um, but he's not actually playing that badly, to be honest. In fact, he's having a good game here. Turns, nice ball McBrien. Oh, Tolan goes in. Has the tackle, wins the ball back though. I think now we've made a change. We're going to go 2-0 down, aren't we? Move it. Oh, Dean though, nearly gets the tackle in. Anderson, no, not putting a foot in apparently. Tipton, Dean nods it away. Mitchell's going to clear it though. Isn't he? No, he's not. He's going to stand around and look at it for a little bit. Be like, maybe, maybe Gaffer. We'll see. We'll see. Are we not sacked yet? Not yet, friendly ghost. Not yet. We haven't or we haven't walked yet. Our dignity I was gonna say remains intact, but that's not technically true. That's not even remotely true. Our dignity was long gone. We're still here. Nobody likes us. We just we've sort of we've almost chained ourselves to the railings of the club. We're like, right, try and move us. Go on, penalty! We've got ourselves a penalty. Great ball through by Mooney. Very clever pass. Walsh just like pushed over. Mitchell steps up. Bottom corner. It's no less than we deserve, to be honest. Very soon, says Barton. Hmm. You can never tell. You can never tell. He can predict, and usually correctly predict, but. I wonder whether or not this is going to be. Oh, how do we keep that out? How did we keep that out? What on earth has happened there? I don't know. Fat Nige in with two months. Appreciate you, Fat Nige. Thank you very much for the sub. Long ball. Walsh thinks about it. Doesn't quite put enough pressure on. Lenny, oh no. Right, come on. Done. Dean. What can we do? Are we going to respect the point? That's a little more I need. I need to respect the point, don't I? Oh. Comes in, headed away. Oh, hang on, counter attack might be on. Here's Walsh. Can he look for the, for the option? Inside to Campbell. What's Campbell got? Back out to McBrien. In for Campbell. Oh. Almost suit mark two. 
Not down the other end, please, no, no. Not this, not this. It's over, fine, no trouble at all, no trouble at all, never in danger. Put the time wasting on, we don't need any more than that. Just take the point, move on. That'll do. We played well. 21 shots, six on target. Maybe we need to uh, work a little bit on our on our finishing, but it's fine. What did Banger happen? What happened there? Banger drew as well. So again, they just, they nudged a couple of points. Still two points clear. They drew with Carrick. So actually that's not a bad result because that means neither of them move ahead of us. Obviously Warren Point also don't move ahead either. So actually, the best result all around. Really, everyone stayed within, everyone stays where they are. We respect the point, we move on from it. As long as we're not bottom at the end of the season, we'll be fine, we'll be fine. And if we are, yeah, whatever. It is what it is, you know? This is the football I know, says Jameson. No one, no one in the chat even saw the question that was asked, but you're all going, we know it was asked, and we know exactly what he said. <laughs> And you know what? I stand by it. I 100% stand by it. We're facing Dundella now in the uh, second round of the Northern Irish Cup. I mean, the questions I guess are going to be, ultimately, do we think we're going to be able to to stay up have we excuse me have we shown anything have we shown any sort of like indication that that we can do this I just don't know I just don't know Landudno Junction job is available but they're just they're too far they're far too far that's too much of a jump right now because they might not even be in the uh, in the game by the time we come there. They're not getting the 13 points. If we can get into the playoffs, then we'll stay up. It's been we've been excellent under the pressure games. That's a good point, actually. Yeah, yeah. And I think it's the fact that look, we look, we know where we're at with with relegation battles. Like we know that we're cool, we're calm under pressure. Like we don't, you know, we don't really we don't get stressed about those sorts of things. Like some managers might get really worried about like. A relegation battle. Not us. Not us. We're like, okay, this is our bread and butter. This is what we do. You know, and if it works, great. If it doesn't, yeah. You know, we tried our best. Plus, plus O'Connor's coming back as well. That's great news. Huge news. To get O'Connor back. Uh, I might take, I might take Gallagher off actually. Start with McBrien. I mean, we've got things. We've got players who we need to rest desperately, but I just I need to rest Joey Jones for the league. But at the same time, we need the cup. Balamine is the next match. What do we think? Happy New Year indeed, mad scientist. How are you, buddy? Welcome in to you. Hope you're good. And he's using the hooch emote as well. Love that. Love that. Um, three days. Checking Jones can play another match. I mean, he can, and Bird's going to be back rest the players against Linfield yeah you want to use that as a free hit essentially I guess look let's give him give him 45 minutes see what see how the game's panned out if it looks like we can take him off we'll take him off if not he plays the whole game 
We've got Mitchell there who can drop to right back. Marin, of course, is knackered as well, so he also needs to probably only play 45 minutes. But if we change stuff, we change stuff, you know? Oh, already under pressure. That's Stephen Drum, remember him? From uh, when we played in Bambridge? Already in with a tackle. Dundella, let's press. We're at home. Actually, no, wait, we're away, sorry. Yeah, corner kick coming in. Holden whips it in. Keeper comes for it, claims it nicely. Well, well done, done. Out to Dean. Touched by McBrien. Looked for someone on the inside, but there's no one there. No runner. Great ball. We've pulled it down. Oh. Second soup. Other soup. Soup. What a goal that is. What a goal. Incredible ball by McBrien. Soup takes it down and dinks it in off the underside of the bar. What a finish that is. That's just like absolute calmness, isn't it? Balls up over the top, holding out. Bit of space, headed up, not headed away. Oh, <laughs> Stephen Drum. As we said, a guy we had at Bambridge scoring against us. Outside of the boot. Bizarre header. Straight at Delaney. Drum's got loads of space to run into. Okay. One all. We're not regrouping now, we're staying on, on counter press. Donnelly launches it, no one's there. Holden down the wing. Blocked. Oof. Decent effort. Walks on a 6-5 at the minute. He's normally pretty uh pretty decent. He doesn't like he's getting involved in the uh, in the game much at the minute. I'll play the ball down the right though, so let's try and spread our attacks a little bit more varied. Their right hand side looks pretty effective to be honest. Sorry, no, their left hand side, I should say, sorry. Delaney and Drum. Half time. One all. Not bad. Reasonable. We'll keep Jones out for now. But we've got Todd, who's like a youngster, who could potentially come in. But Dean's having a shocker, that's the problem. So we'll essentially be putting. A player would essentially be putting a young defender in alongside a player who's not playing well. That, that sounds suicidal, really. In fact, you know what? Let's take uh, take Dean off. Actually, he's more likely to make a mistake. That's going to lead to us getting knocked out. As I say, the Balamina game is massively important. I'm sure Jones can play another match. What a ball that is. Walsh with that. <laughs> Came from deep. Good header as well, mate. Let's go positive, actually, for a, for a few minutes, shall we? Try and go a bit wider. Slightly more direct as well. See if that helps. Brought about a, an equaliser in the last match, so... Maybe we can start pushing on. For Jones. It's the ball into a dangerous position. Glenn Denning back to the keeper. Let them build it from the back. Only got himself up front, hasn't he? Reluctant to take Donnelly out of that AM role and get a second striker in because I think we'll then lose like someone in this in this area here, this number ten spot. Great ball through. Oh, I 
Decent finish, that, isn't it? Centre backs have gone to sleep. So here's Todd, here's the youngster. Here's Jones, it's Todd who switches off. Keepers come for it. Nothing you can do there, is there? He done bad. He did done bad. Um, trouble is, though, it's another one of those, like, yeah, it happens sort of moments. Um, right, I'm going to go against. We're using it for now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it, it, it's, to be honest, it's working. It's working in the sense that like it's doing exactly what we need it to do. Um, but we might have to just take a bit of a gamble at this point, friendly. Um, you know, it's, it's, you know, we, we know that it's the sort of formation that exploits a few loopholes in the, uh, in the match engine. You know, so maybe we have to do that. Mitchell, ball of the top, Campbell. Doesn't quite get there. Just missed out on it. Get the tackle in, get the tackle in. Don't let him go through. I don't know about that. That should have been. Should have had the ball taken off him before then. McLaughlin, McKay, McGuinness. We hook it, power heads it over the bar. Come on, a bit more, demand a bit more. What can we get? A few changes out of yours, obviously, but there'll be someone in the some area of the pitch. Yeah. Ball at the top, Gallagher's got it. Oh. Oh. He's got it. A, cent a tiny centre 4 4 2. And it's Fisher. Who plays the ball at the top? A DM playing centre half, pings the ball up over the top. Even crazy old C. How are you, buddy? Nice to see you. I hope you're well. 2 2. We've got the ball again. Todd. Mooney. Cross is blocked. Scott plays it down into the channel. Intercepted Crawford. Todd, over the top again. Campbell slows at the post. Oh, oh, oh. Oasis is Gallagher strikes. <laughs> I like that, Nigel, I like it. I'm glad to hear you good, crazy. Glad to hear it. Mooney, get the ball back out wide. Should have been out there. Should have been out there. In a sense, I don't want extra time because that's going to just knacker the players more, isn't it? Let's go attacking for five minutes, see if that works. <clears throat> I think we've had our chance of being on top and we've not taken our opportunities, so... Might get caught out now, possibly. Drum. Yeah, we moved up. Oh, you can't, you can't do anything about that, can you? You can't do a thing. What a strike that was. There's just no stopping some of this, is there? McDonald steps up, bang. Shipping a thunder bastard. It's the whole lot, isn't it? Right, let's go for it. We have to go up. See if there's anything we can do. Final roll of the dice. Ronaldinho versus England. It had shades of it, didn't it? Power off the post. Let's be expressive, let's go. Hit early crosses as well. Just gonna have to go full on get the ball forward quicker aren't we run the risk of not getting possession wing back on support wing back on support
two minutes to go. Can we get something? Don't think we can. Might get a fourth against us at this point. Good shot, Dan. Gallagher. Gallagher had two, he just, he took too long. Took too long shifting the ball on his other foot. Todd, hopeful ball into nowhere. I think that's it, boys. Holden's just gone through. Oh, off the underside of the bar. Is that about the third time the bar's been hit in this game? It's been a decent match, mind. These players are dead on their feet, by the way. And there goes another potential cup. Oh well. You know what? We lost to an absolute world of a strike. We took them tour to tour. But yeah, if it's going to be separated by that by that strike, then it's like fair enough. There's nothing you can do there. Now we've just got to focus on survival. So no more, no more potential cups for Dungannon. Oh, now they're now they're disappointed that we didn't get to the Northern Irish Cup later stages. So great, the board are going to be unhappy about that. Let's uh, spice things up a bit. Just going, ah, you know, whatever. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Do you want to see changes in the club's long-term direction? Well, it's not up to me, is it? It's not up to me. Let's start. Let's start digging our own uh, our own grave, shall we? We're now in. We're now insecure. So we might not even see out the end of the season. So I think there is a potential that we can still walk Elgin City in League Two. They're just about down, aren't they? Montrose getting relegated into, into League Two. Could be an option. Colwyn Bay could be an option. Could go back to the third division of Irish football. That could be an option. Motherwell, remember them? Bit of trifle to the player of the match if you win. I mean, to be fair, if these, if these players start playing for trifle, then, you know... Let's do it. Bradford Park Avenue. That's it. The worrying thing is, the worrying thing is, is it feels very much now like we might have to go to England just for a reputation boost. And I don't really want to have to go to England just yet. Because the thing is, the way the save goes... You want to get the difficult countries out the way first. Because... Because you don't want to be sort of like... In a situation where... I don't know. We're sort of like... Ten seasons in. And... Um, You know, we, we can't. They're already they're already done. The game's tomorrow. Um, so you know, Andy Carroll's manager. Andy Carroll's a manager, is he? Where's Andy Carroll? Andy Carroll's manager of Ebbsfleet. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'd take Ebbsfleet. Um, but do you know what I mean? Like, I don't want to sort of be... Um, don't want to go straight to England. Because then we're going to have to then go to Scotland and Wales at some point and that's a bigger drop down to then come back up if that makes sense we're better off trying to get those sorts of jobs out the way now Jack Plays FM welcome and appreciate the raid buddy how was your stream hope it was good 
happy Christmas, happy New Year to you, by the way. Hope uh, hope life's treating you well. So, border expecting a draw. Fans also expect a draw. It's the big one. Up against Ballymena. We could go balanced. Do you want to go? Do you want to get stuck in? Do we run the risk of getting red cards? Why not throw ourselves in there? Conference North or South boosts. You get a better job in Scotland, Wales, Northern Ireland. Probably truth in that. Actually, there's probably probably a fair bit of truth there. O'Connor is back on the bench. Everyone, that's huge news. Mr. Jarmin saw the words trifle and eating in the stream tile, clicked on said stream, and there was a Tony Jameson smashing a trifle into himself. Glorious stuff. <laughs> it's not false advertising around here, Mr. Jarmin. We're doing 100% that. Trifle, we've got some Baileys as well. We're going to have that. We've, uh, we've, we've got ourselves knocked out of a cup, sadly, but, you know. If this is going to be my thing, though, to eat a trifle every stream, then plumb neck. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be huge. Bulking season starts now, apparently. Get promoted to the AFL, then quit. Good work. Good work. Um, knock off Baileys. I mean, yeah, we trifle. Th see the thing. The thing with uh, so it's not knock off Baileys. What it is is it's um, it's it's Aldi's Baileys, right? It's Aldi's Baileys, and it's uh, it's four pound a bottle. So it's cheaper than normal Baileys. It is a Ballycastle, a Ballycastle country cream. So the dirty bulk starts now. Damn right. The thing is, though, Mr. Jarman, the uh, the dirty bulk started uh, at lockdown, I think. <laughs> and I, uh, I, I did, uh, I did what I had to do. And now I'm like, do I start to try and knock things down? So yeah, Merry Christmas, everybody. Um, a Dennis Bailey rather than a Leon Bailey. Mm -hmm. Four pound a bottle. Four pound a bottle. There you go, for the full thing, yeah. That's it, it's a proper proper Bailey's size bottle as well, so. Slange, slange, it's all you. So yeah, so that's what we're into at this point. I'm also going back off the booze as of uh, January 1st as well, so I'm gonna have a little bit of fun tomorrow. Then that's us, back off again. So, which is gonna be fine. Because I found that depressingly easy to come off the off the drink last time, so uh, we're gonna do it again. Um, Glennie needs rest. Glenny actually, Glenny can probably go on the bench, maybe. Nineties barely and twenties barely than Tony. Nineties, nineties barely. Who's who's the eighties barely? Or, or barely out of the WWE is probably the best barely out of them all, I reckon. <clears throat> Okay, we've got to do this now. Let's get it done. We're up now against uh, Balamina. This is a must-win game. Okay, we're bottom. They're second bottom. We're at home. Lose this, and I think we're done for. And I don't think it's going to matter. They've won their last four games. Bloody hell! And they've done it playing four-four-two. Oh no, Balamina. So I thought that so. For some reason, I thought they were they were uh, bottom. They're not. It's a uh, it's banger that they're bottom. Once drank a glass of Bailey's and lime cordial, wasn't allowed to vomit for five minutes after. Succeeded, got a drink for free for the rest of the night. Oh God, yeah. Lime cordial and uh, and Bailey's. That's gonna curdle it. That's like sort of going right. I had a Bailey's and a bottle of red wine straight afterwards. That was that was pleasant. Or I had a couple of glasses of red wine, then a bottle of Bailey's. Things went fine. Oh, things would have gone badly. Park House used to be a lower league FM goal machine in previous versions. Who are they plays for these guys? Really? Okay. Let's keep our eyes on him then. As he pings one <laughs> just over the bar. Atchison. Oh, Scott nods it down. Bird. I think we're going to have uh, to press. Because I don't think... Uh, Regroupings having its effect at this point. I 
I think this might be our game in hand as well, actually. So even more incentive to get a, to get a good result. So that'll put some pressure on Banger. Aaron Donnelly steps off, to be honest. The only player I most miss in FM was Gareth Law. 25th finishing. Where did Gareth Law play? Did he play at somewhere like Grimsby or something? Brian comes inside. Scott over the top. Campbell makes a bit of a nuisance of himself. Walsh with Brian brought down penalty. Oh, here we go. Mitchell steps up. Saved. Oh dear. That was our chance. When your luck's not in, you wait for the narrative. Here's Sam Campbell. Straight at Williamson. It's okay, don't we? We'll, we might get another chance. We'll, we'll rue that one for now, but we might get another one. Campbell turns, goes for it. Wins a corner. Campbell's on the yellow card. Thankfully, O'Connor's on the bench. Is a physio exeter now? That's pretty good. I like, I like it when you get those sort of like those lower league players who are still in the game, but they're now staff. That's that's class. I love that. Like I love the fact that Graham Fenton was manager of Blythe Spartans. Do you know what I mean? Like Walsh goes down the wing, cuts it back. Campbell doesn't jump for it. Crawford nods it down. McBrien has a go. Keeper spills it. Let's go positive. We seem to be playing well. We're having our chances, but we're not taking them. That's the problem. The free kick we've pushed up the smidge, so of course that's going to mean we give away a penalty. <laughs> it just doesn't make any sense, does it? This game. Park House top corner. Oh well. I mean, it's good to see your Park House is still scoring goals, but. A bit worried now. Mitchell's playing badly. Get Fisher in. Actually, let's get Mooney in, actually. Play with a DLP. I have to bring. Parkhouse being men mentioned pre game was only going to lead to one thing. Oh, 100%. 100% jamming. He's like, oh, sorry, lads. Were you, were you talking about me, by the way? I'll just, uh, I'll just dust off my goal-scoring boot, shall I? Sod's law as well. The guy who scored a penalty for us in our last match then misses the next one. I don't worry. Here, fifteen. It's one of those things. I'll take most of the blame. You know, I have to take most of the blame. It's my fault. Free kick, Mooney. Ooh. But Brian's not having a good game, he's on 6 4. Scott's not having a good game. Marin. Bird dings it back in. Campbell, presumably offside there, I think. 6 5. Tell you what, let's do that. Surprised it wasn't the first league goal of the season. It usually is, isn't it? It usually is. Evening, Andrew. Start line was just with your podcast partner. Now it's time for Tony. Welcome in, buddy. Hope you're well. Gallagher looks up. Should have went for the ball inside. Mooney. Back inside. Campbell. 
There's a corner. Offside. Can't believe it. Considering a career where I play with three at the back of the names of Bremner, Bird and Forge. Oh, yeah. Like, R.I.P. Uh, Bird, by the way. Like, one of the UK's finest satirists. Oh, another miss. Oh. Yeah. Terrible news that this week. This week. Like, really, really sad. Bremner Burn, unfortunately. If you've not seen it, if you're, or if you're not from the UK, like, definitely go out and try and, like, see some old episodes of it. It's so funny. So, so funny. They were way... They were, like, they were out there. They were just ex excellent. Mooney up over the top. Gallagher's through. It's not going to go in, is it? Um... Let's go a bit wider. Turn it off. Let's just whip some crosses in as well, actually. This is probably going to be the result that sends us down now, I think. I mean, don't worry, there's obviously more results that will follow. Uh, Ulems as well, by the way. Welcome in. Appreciate the uh, the follow there. Very kind. Campbell whips it in. O'Connor with the header. Corner. What, what can we can we get anything from this? Campbell's gonna take it. Crawford heads it over the top. What's the song gonna sing? Something about in the morning. It's uh you're gonna wake up in the morning after probably really bad sleep. You're gonna be irate in the morning. That's that's the song, isn't it? That's the thing. FM wonder keep a moment. I think so. He's having a, he's having a great game, isn't he? Crawford, Mooney, O'Connor's offside. Miles offside. Didn't even need, didn't even need to celebrate. The good news is though, is he's come on and he's scored twice. Granted, none of them have counted, but shows he's sharp though after being out injured for eight weeks. What can we do? Four minutes to go. We could do that in the morning, Andrea. To be fair, I don't think that'd be the worst. Oh no! Oh, what would? Why would they do that? Like, do you know what I mean? Of all the things to do at that moment, you go, oh, I've got an idea. Like, have you? It's just, it's just one of those, isn't it, at this point? <laughs> it, it's one of those, like, sort of, like, I could kick off about it and be like, oh, the game's broken, blah, blah, but it's just part of me just going, this is just funny in a sense. It's it's kind of how it would play out if you were in this situation. Like, you know there'd be games where stuff like this would happen and you'd be like, oh, can't believe these opportunities. So we can't take advantage of the game in hand. Um... Which means that, of course, we're going to be going into the final couple of matches just with no confidence. Uh, we had 60% possession in that match, so that's that's good. Right, we had loads of the ball. Scored twice, they didn't count. Now we've got to play Linfield, who are third. Crusaders, who are seventh. Carrick, who are tenth, so that's going to be a huge game. Glavin, who are fourth. And Cliftonville, who are fifth. So, it's... It's time to look for a new job, really, isn't it? Let's be, let's not beat around the bush. It's definitely time to look for a new job. Is Bradford Park Avenue the one to go for? Their bottom, actually, no, no. It's not looking good. But we got a but we got a cup. That's the thing. Like we we got what we came for. We came for a trophy. We got one. That's how we need to look at it. Like 
you know. Doesn't matter. We're not here to make friends. We're not here for a long time. You know, we just we we came here. We had to win a trophy. We left. We did that. Bishop Store for the twentieth. Where are Bishop Storford, are they? Just above for now. Oh, they haven't even got real kits. Time to resign and declare interesting jobs. That's maybe not the worst thing to do, you know. That's maybe not the worst thing at all. Bishop Storford, bad. Hang on, have I got a have I got a do not do not apply for jobs thing? Because I mean, to be honest, not that it makes a difference. You know what I mean? Let's apply for it then. Go on then. We'll, we'll, we'll start applying for some jobs, shall we? I'm okay with Porter down, but no one near a trophy than you. Scuttled the cups of horrendous away draws. Avoids clubs paying compensation if we if we uh, resign. There is that. There is that. So Bishop Storford have got a less of a wage budget. Bradford Park Avenue, of course, as we say, could potentially end up uh, not going up either. What's their facilities like? Synthetic pitch. Basic youth. Hot prospect Christopher Deegan. Let me look at the clip of him. Five grand. We could apply for that. Stevenage is the level to be aiming, aiming for. Oh, I mean, Stevenage will be great. They're, they're the biggest club down there, absolutely. But then again, that's a club that comes with pressure as well, isn't it? Like, you know, at the minute they haven't got a, they, you know, they still have a manager. Dulwich Hamlet still have a manager. Um, Hendon. Not the Hendon in Sunderland, of course. It's the uh, different Hendon. Also, as well, there's a couple of uh, people as well where maybe they, if they don't have kits, then I'm like, you know what I mean? Go draw the line somewhere, right? Drinking beer, he's eating trifle, applying for jobs. What a wonderful one in any football manager's career. I think most football managers have done that at some point. Altrincham. Altrincham could be a shout. They're a real club. Take Ben Mee's job off him. They'll be relegated down. As well, though Sutton relegated from Skybet League Two, probably Crawley, Cheltenham, Montrose, and Colwyn Bay. I'm all for Colwyn Bay, to be honest. If they can stay in the division, oh, but do we go? To, <laughs> but do we then go into Wales, expecting to win Col with Colwyn Bay? That could be a thing, mind. We could do that. Montrose is League Two. Bradford Park Avenue, unsuccessful. The interview process is already over. Is Montrose already. Have they got a job open or not? Are they. Are they just considering it? Yeah, 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 yeah. If we could rebound back up, that would be pretty cool. Hummel kits as well, so it's like, let's be honest, it's a. It's a shout. The Gable Endies. Better get relegated, start Wales at the bottom. That would be, yeah. But of course, there's also the thing as well of if if the junction can stay where they are, if the junction can stay up, then up the junction, right? Two promotion in the AFL, move on and rip enough to fuck around with other managers, other leagues. That's reasonable, actually. Charlie Ruddock is the new Bradford PA manager. So that's why he didn't get that job. I'm gonna say something really stupid. It's probably easier to get promoted in the National League North and South as well than it is dicking about with uh, with the um, with the Welsh jobs and stuff. Mr. Jamin, appreciate the sub. That's very kind. Thank you for that. 
welcome in. You, you've already worked out how this stream works. We're not here for, we're not here for success, although we technically are, <laughs> but we're getting there slowly. We're here for entertainment purposes. Stevenage would be great. Redditch, replacing Dean Holdsworth would be interesting. True row. Probably gonna go down their bottom. Altering him again is not bad, not bad shout, you know. As I said, I've, I've just we've just had a quick look at there. Solly Hull Moores. Our Steven is still full time. Professional, yeah. But then it, again it depends. I was gonna say it depends if they get regular. No, they're, they're, they're mid-table. Like, yeah, they're still still full full time, so we can actually do some training with them. Expected to be top, of course. So they are underachieving. Crawley is a good is a good one. We did uh, we did Brackley, didn't we, last year? Crawley's League Two, though, so I think National League's probably gonna be a bit high. That kit is amazing. <laughs> that kit is fantastic. And they've still got Luke Jepcott as well. I say Elgin as well. I think they're, they're going to be gone from from League Two, aren't they? We could, of course, always see who comes up in these uh, into these divisions. So we'll see. We'll see. I'm not hugely sold on Bishop Storford. If you were to push me right now, I'm not hugely sold on it. Uh, I would like to sort of like have a look and see what there is as the as we edge closer to the end of the season. I'll tell you what, let's do a, uh, let's do a team meeting as well, because things are pretty bad. And in training, let's go and get ourselves some team bonding time. That always works nicely, doesn't it? Actually, do it here. Go and get yourselves in the community. Make everyone be like, oh, isn't it nice? Worth jumping to avoid the sack. Probably, probably actually, it probably is worth doing that. Players are happy to leave. Good. Just like, literally like, let's just leave this as it is. Oh yeah, this team is a fucking dumpster fire. <laughs> like, let's go. How many, how many games have we got? Because we could potentially just leave. What's that? One, two, three, four, five matches. What's our current... So our current job is stable. Should we give it a couple more games? If it looks like we're going nowhere, we could just walk and be like, right, we've got all we came in for. Have a look at Linfield. Have a look at Crusaders. If we don't... I tell you what, if we don't beat Carrick, we leave. Because that'll be the game, won't it? They're tenth. If we get nothing, if we get nothing off Carrick, if Linfield fuck us more than three 0 we go. We beat Linfield before. That's the problem. The problem is, we beat them two 0 here. So that's the worry. Part of me thinks if we can't get anything um, against against Carrick, then it's like that's us that's us out the door. Like we should then have done because then that's literally like a week. We've got one week of real time of game times, or I should say. Players will be knackered if they've not done it by then. Then they're not doing it. Like because you can't go into that relegation into those sort of like those those relegation games thinking okay. All of a sudden, the players will get better 
and they'll be like, oh yeah, let's like, you know, suddenly uh, play properly. They go, job's insecure now. Preston's available, Motherwell's available. South Shields. Could go home, replace Keith Curl. Close to home anyway, not massively home, not actually home. Super Kev's, Super Kev's team. <laughs> or, or is it a case of if Linfield destroy us, is that us over? Is that us done? Will the board just be like, you need to leave, mate? They could be, they could be. See what happens, shall we? Trifle at the ready. Linfield away. What can possibly happen? What can possibly go wrong? Final click. Linfield have won three of their last five. We have won one of our last five. Is there keeper X Man City? Is there manager X keeper Man City? Is there manager X Man City keeper on right? I'm not sure. We'll have a look at that. It's possible. He was Northern Irish, wasn't he? I would like to think that the um, the cameras pan round to me on in the dugout, just sitting like just munching away on my trifle, being like. And Jameson appears not to be too stressed with the situation. And we're in yellow, by the way, if you're, uh, if you're new to the stream. Way our way, kick Crawford with the ball through. Campbell smashes over the top. Maybe, just maybe, the trifle wasn't the good luck charm I thought it might have been. Right, how do you spell I res how do you spell resign? What's in my back? Appreciate the follow. There's Jameson stress eating, he knows the enormity of the game. Yeah, Dunn's just having just having awful in it. And the reports linking James and the Stephen is true. Camera pans to the dugout. Nom 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 nom. Mm. Can I walk at half time? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We can uh, we can hear we can hear a car starting. Is that? Can anyone see Jameson by the way? He's just wrote "See you losers" on the uh, on the dressing room wall. I think it is time to go in it. I think we leave Dungannon. I don't think we need to be here for much longer. We got what we came for. We won a trophy. Get, get the CV printed, lads. Oh, done. <laughs> What's he playing at, this lad? Where's this one? Have a look at this. This is shocking. I don't know what he's doing here. You know what? Dunn's coming off. Dunn's coming off. Dunn Gannon did what we wanted him for. I'll start the car, you grab the trophy. Kill one off on the chairman's desk. <laughs> Your car parked in one side and your ID on the other. Yeah, exactly. I mean, there you go. Dunn's, Dunn's gone. His career's finished, much like ours. Northern Ireland was fun while it lasted, wasn't it, chat? 
Do you reckon we can go back to Banbridge? Why did we leave? We had to win things. Beret at the club. Banger are losing as well. That's the worst thing. Like, throw the water ball, it's over. Just chuck that, who cares? We're gone. If you just like it, it should be like sort of cuts to the air, team talk going. What would you like to say? There's just me, just like feet up on the desk, cheesecake, trifle in hand, just going, do what you want, lads. Throw it at Dud, he wouldn't catch it, that's the problem. Go straight past him. I think it's safe to say that we're not buying any players from Dungannon. The Taylor Swift references were probably to blame. Has anyone got any Taylor Swift references right now that they want to get off their chest? Because it feels like that's probably the last time we're going to be able to use these. You're all cunts now, fuck off, you ain't staying there at half time. Yeah, exactly. Walsh through, bends one to the bottom corner just wide. Give me a G, G, give me an O, O, give me an F, F, give me U, U, give me a C, C, give me a K, K, give me a Y, give me an O, give me a U, give me an R, give me an E, give me an L, give me a V, give me an E, give me an S, go fuck yourselves. Oh, looking forward to the press release, summing up your time at the club, yeah, it's going to be great, isn't it, good? Jameson wasn't here very long. <laughs> Jameson throws trifling bizarre changing room blow up. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a pizza gate, it'll be it'll be trifle gate, won't it? There's Scannell makes it five. Berate again, these players are getting the whole works. Like nah, we're going. Okay, it's over. Dungannon, the Dungannon mission's done. Okay. Is Jameson drinking Baileys on the touchline? Yeah. And and Banger are losing are losing to to Larn as well. So that was our chance. Four goals for Scannell. <laughs> now Glennie's decided he's gonna throw throw arms. Awful, awful. Release them all on a free. <laughs> Just storm out. We're not. We're not answering any any questions. No more questions, Your Honour. Hand in the letter and shake it off. Reference. That, that that's a reference, is it? Time to go in it. Is it time to go? Should we should we just leave? Bags are packed, aren't they? I think let's just resign. <laughs> All in favour say aye, but I like knew I knew he was in trouble when he walked in. Reference. Reference. Okay. We've gone. We've left. Okay. We're away. So now it's a job hunt stream. Not necessarily RIP at the Taylor Swift references because we don't know, you know, maybe there's going to be more Taylor Swift references later. We don't know. We just don't know. So let's keep our eyes peeled then for some jobs. Notts County.
Oh, League Two, that's pretty high. Sadly, I'm afraid. So. What are your immediate thoughts? Um, I mean, it wasn't a decision we took lightly, but it's what we need to do. I'm doing what's best for my career and leaving this absolute car crash. How sympathetic are you towards Ivan Lecko, who's under pressure at Everton? I mean, if the Everton job doesn't really concern us, I don't think. I can't imagine we're gonna we're gonna fall upwards to the Everton job, are we? That's that seems unlikely. I mean, let's just keep our eyes peeled and see what's see what's available. Recommended available jobs. I mean, it's great. None of those jobs are actually available right now. Ipswich, not really a job we're going to be able to get to. Cambridge, League One, again, a bit too high. Can't imagine we'll get anything there. Would you be keen on taking a role? I would, but yeah, I can't see us being offered that. Dulwich, Dulwich Hamlet for hipster fun. I mean, I agree, Craig. I do agree. And they're morally good, so we like that. Northampton, they're quite cool as well. But again, probably a little bit too high. And also we don't really want to sort of like get Paul Ince out of a job right now, do we? That would be, be a shame for him. So how was everyone's Christmas and what is everyone's new year looking like? That's the questions we need to look at at this point. And presumably, any job that comes up, we are not taking until <laughs> until next season, because there's uh, there's definitely nothing we want to be involved in right now. Relegation battles and stuff. Hoping my cough goes by 2023. Yeah, you need to get sorted, Craig. Don't be don't be keeping that till next year. That's not that's not a fashion accessory anybody wants right now. Yeah, get rid of that while you can. We could go to Serie A. We can't, can't even go to Serie A and just have sadness over there. Christmas and New Year's as depressing as Dungannon. Oh dear. Could you imagine that? Liswery in the Cymru South have just sat there, manager. They're not down yet. They're not down. They could be, but they're not down yet. I'm not going anywhere near it. I'm not going anywhere near a club that I can't can't really pronounce. Mikhailova? No, 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 no. <laughs> exactly. No chance at all, friendly ghost. No chance with that one. Let's just update the stream title to Job Search. Trifling job search. There, yeah, good point. Yeah, sorry. If we, if we mention the trifle, then people are going to be going to be involved, right? Trifling job search. Don Gannon. Don Gannon. Done. Absolutely done. Never again. So, so if anyone's interested, we've we've won three trophies out of a possible 33 okay 10 percent of the uh of the challenge now oh here we go let's talk about ben stevens at dulwich All right we'll start putting our name in the hat there this of course is the interesting thing right as you can see we're not done with northern ireland yet okay even though we've left there's still a hell of a lot of stuff to do okay so we aren't 
done. We'll have to come back at some point, right? But this, of course, is everything else we've still got. So all of Wales, all of Scotland, and then, of course, all all of England as well. So plenty of stuff to, uh, to be looking at. Yeah. Joby McEnough has left AFC Wimbledon to join Preston. We probably can't get get uh, the AFC Wimbledon job. You've, you've, re you've resigned once again. I mean, can you explain why you keep doing so? I, mean, I don't know about. Did we resign from? Um... Yeah, I think we probably did technically resign, didn't we, from um, from from Bambridge to Portadown? But I think we I think we just got offered the job. So. So let's see. Feelings about Gareth Ainsworth at Cambridge. Let's not talk about Gareth Ainsworth at Cambridge. Three trophies in each of the four countries would be a good return in 20 seasons. That would be decent, wouldn't it? We, we'd take that. We would take that. Crawley, League Two. Crawley, it's probably far too high, isn't it? 17th in League Two. I don't think we've got a chance. £31,000. Oof. There's no chance of Crawley, but we'll put him for anyway just for a bit of, just for a laugh, right? It's not going to go. It's not going to go. I think I want Dulwich Hamlets or Colwyn Bay. They're the ones I kind of want. Dutch Hamlet fans laugh off interest from Jameson. Um, excuse me. I'm not the ones that are struggling right now. Do you know what I mean? You're the ones at the bottom of the National League, not me. We'll see about that. Bunch of hipster bastards, aren't they? Expected me to say. Trefellian is available. We're not going there. I mean, they are technically the lowest you could possibly get, really, isn't it? They've stayed up just about in Wales. Trefellian Boys and Girls Club. Boys and girls. £65 a week, though, that suggests that we're taking a pay cut. A huge pay cut. Leighton Valentine. Great name. Maximus Coulter. Martin Atamo. Mason, Mason Jones Thomas. Anthony Evans Walker, six foot four, twenty. Sounds like a school team. It does a bit, doesn't it? I mean, they, they might stay up. I'm gonna do. A, I'm gonna do a quick Google, Google of them, right? Trefellin Boys and Girls Club. They do have an official website, so that's better than some some teams, to be honest. Uh, so they play in Port Talbot. Founded in 1984. They... In, in January the 2nd, 2019, the club announced the signing of former Swansea City striker Lee Trundle. The club were champions of the Welsh Football League Division 1 at the end of the 2019-2020 season. Remaining unbeaten in the league during a season curtailed by the COVID-19 pandemic, they were promoted to the Welsh second tier 
joining the Cymru South in 2021. The ladies team were promoted in 2010. Um, following, and then broke away from Trefellian and renamed themselves Port Talbot Girls Ladies. Port Talbot Town Ladies, sorry, after becoming a port, affiliated with Port Talbot Town. Right. Got that. Okay. Interesting. I used to write for a magazine in Port Talbot. Okay. There's a few British steel challengers in Wales. There is. A £1,000. <laughs> oh, Craig, is this a bad idea? Is this a bad idea? They're not... Uh, Colwyn Bay is the one we want, right? Let's be honest. Colwyn Bay is the one. So let's let's not go down for for them just yet. Because if Colwyn Bay get relegated, they're a better club to go straight back up. Surely. Like this is the thing we have to like be really, we have to try and sort of like pick these clubs deliberately at this point, or at least try and put ourselves into the best possible position. Here's in Yedding, National League South. They might get relegated still, so let's not apply for that just yet, because we obviously don't want to take over a team that may not even be there um, at the start of the next save, the start of the next season. Sorry. You've won things already. Take your time with this one. Smart, smart, Craig. What I've heard there is drink a bottle of Bailey's and then make a decision. That's what I've heard. That's what I've heard. Okay. I like that. I can agree with that. Jamie Ward has left Ilkston to join Dungannon. I mean, they've literally they've hired someone from semi-professional, four-four-two manager, obviously. They do say cream rises to the top. Well played, well played, Craig. This is why you. This is why you write for a living. Do you know what I mean? There's reasons for that. I mean, is Motherwell too bold a move? Probably is, isn't it? Probably is. Ebb's fleet is still a possible a possibility. Andy Carroll is good. That's getting at people's heads about Andy Carroll. Well played, Richie. Nice work. Don't know if you don't apply. There is that barn. We, we've been to Motherwell before, though, and it didn't. It didn't work. It it didn't go well. It was. It went mother badly. Alan Johnston has left Air. So there you go. Air United's an option. Hummel Kits. Oh. He, they've left them in a in a bit of a predicament. The more the more Baileys, the bolder the applications will get. Why why has Jameson applied for Sampdoria? <laughs> That's not gonna work in the British Steel Challenge, is it? Let's go in for Air. I mean, they're, they're called the Honest Men. Do you know what I mean? What a nickname. What a nickname. James and I's the Ed's Fleet job. Rob, Robo Daddy, appreciate the follow. Very kind for that. Thank you. What else have we got? Kilmarnock could come up. If we get Kilmarnock, Rogie's going to, like, lose his mind, I think. Thing is, if we if we get like a higher up job in Scotland and then that, then we start doing badly. Then our reputation really starts to take a bit of a 
bit of a hit. They've probably got a lie detector in the interview. I mean, that would be harsh, wouldn't it? Lie detectors in there. Ponty Preed have sacked their manager. Okay, so they're going down. Semi-professional, £10 a week wages. That doesn't sound like there's lots of money. <laughs> it doesn't sound like there's lots of money. Basic coaching, limited youth recruitment, brand new stadium. Well, three years, really, I suppose. Um, what are Ponty Preed saying? I think Colin Bear the better one. Men's and women's team. I like that. Pondy pre community stuff. Good. But are they? I mean, they've already been relegated, so they're worse than Colwyn Bay. 500 to 1. They were, yeah, they were destined never to do well, were they? Colin Bay are the ones, aren't they? Forget that one. Judge Jules, welcome in. Talk about the 90s. I was saying before, what's the big what's the big one? 80s and 90s? I'm saying, I'm saying the 80s, but then Judge Jules rocks in. Oof. Do you know what I mean? I mean, how how difficult would it be though with with a team like Pont de Preed? in the Welsh South Division. I'd imagine it would be really tough. Who, who's currently managing in Wales? Who's going to give me some, some advice on this? Like, they're going to be, how much worse are they going to be than, than, uh, than Cole would be? Forest boss Steve Cooper's from Pondy Breed. I mean, I like the fact that we've not been to Ponte Pre before. Ebb's Fleet manager, let Ebb's Fleet fans just laugh us off. We're not going to go to Crawley. How are you, my friend? Very well, thank you, Jules. Very well indeed. How, how are yourself? How are yourself? Tony, can you please just get sacked for once? No. No, Rogie, I'm not. I'm doing it. Should we go for Linfield? <laughs> right. I'm serious. Shall we go for the Linfield job? <laughs> Is anyone going to stop me? Is anyone going to going to say this is a really, 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 really bad idea? Because I think that is just like, if we can do that, that's the ultimate falling up. So we've just left Dungannon, obviously. Judge Jules sipping buck fast, being squashed is not ideal, mate. We're on the Baileys, and we've got the uh, we've got a trifle on the go. So do you know what I mean? And all hill Bucky. If you get it, you have to play attacking football. We can work that out. We'll come to some sort of agreement. Killy jobs there, Rogi. Look, Killy jobs still. We've applied for air as well. So, Robo Daddy started employed, got blind Spartans. Yes, mate. Well played. Well played. Up the Spartans. There's a takeover at the club as well. Oh, outstanding. If you ever go for an interview at air, I'm resigning as a mod. Oh, really? Oh, oh, oh dear. Okay, then we'll potentially back out of the air job then. If Rogi doesn't want us to be to be going for that. Uh, but look at those kits, Rogi. Like, honest, honest men. Fuck up, move up. That's the way the stream works. You've been here before, Zar. You know what the crack is. Elon Musk buying Linfield. Could you imagine? <laughs> Anything but honest. Oh, okay, right. We're not. We're not going to air, everybody. We've. Uh, Rogi said we're not allowed. I mean, the fans might laugh. The fans might laugh, but we have got a trophy, though, so we can be like, "Oh, hey, here's the Middlestar Cup. If anyone's interested, have a little look at that. 
that's a thing. Northampton. I can't see us getting the Northampton job, but look at those kits, man. They're stunning as well. We can put in for it. 37 grand a week. There's, there's no chance we're getting anywhere near that. Carrick, do we... <laughs> Carrick is just going to be grim in it. I mean, look at that stadium, man. The current manager's on 80 quid a week. They're semi-pro. We're not going to do anything. Like they're, they've, they're bottom. Dungannon got themselves in the relegation playoff. Carrick got relegated. We can't. We just, we just can't. We have to try and fall upwards. It's the only way we can do it. I think Pontypridd's going to be too hard. I think we would prefer Colwyn Bay. Still not gone yet, though. <clears throat> Boreham Woods, Scunthorpe, Walking. Still a few options kicking around. They get back to be trifled, don't they? Should have taken the degree all those years ago. Do you reckon that would have helped, Rogi? Do you reckon? Dragon Swansea Uni are sitting there going like, you could have been someone. There you go, Air have turned us down, mate. You're okay. <laughs> Safe to say Rogi wasn't a fan of the air job. Which is fine. Which is fine. He's a, he's a killy man. So, you know, he wanted that one. And I'll, I'll apply for that though, Rogi. The second it comes up, we'll apply for, for Kilmarnock. Don't you worry. What flavour pot noodle am I eating? I'm eating a trifle. It's, it's, an, it's an entire trifle because we won. So last uh, Wednesday, we. Um, we were in a cup vinyl, and I was like, we have already said a couple of streams previously that trifle on Christmas Day is a really bad, um, there's a terrible dessert, in fact. You shouldn't really be having it on Christmas Day. So I kind of almost felt like I needed to redeem myself here. And um, and yeah, I feel right, I'll eat a trifle, won a cup, so I thought, clearly the good luck charm is eating a trifle on stream. Turns out it's not, turns out it isn't. So there you go. So now I've just eaten a trifle for no reason. Chelmsford, they're mid-table. They're not going to do anything. They were expected to, to push on, though. Hmm. Not feeling it, not feeling it. Do you think the Black Forest Gatto would have helped? <laughs> Taking the piss, mate, new at the stream. Oh, mate, no, don't, don't worry. Don't, no, 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 don't worry at all. If that's... Uh, that's the thing, didn't realize you were taking the piss, so don't don't you worry at all. What do we change the flavor of the trifle? No, exactly the same, Craig, because it's superstition in it, so same Tesco trifle. Um, didn't happen. Didn't work second time round, sadly. Lincoln are too far ahead for us. I'd definitely do a trifle flavored pot noodle. I can't even remember the last time I had a pot noodle. Are they still a thing? They must be still a thing, surely. I saw Rich got um, carbonara flavoured um, Chinese noodles, which makes no sense. Montrose. Do a bit of a yo-yo thing with Montrose. Could be a possibility. The Gable Endies, get it done. South Shields is still a thing, maybe. Could possibly happen. Also, at South Shields, is that Josh Windass they've got up front? It is Josh Windass. 
unbelievable. Bombay bad boy is some primo stuff. Oh, really? Is that um, South Shields is Inky's club? Yeah, yeah. Former um, club, I believe, of, uh, of Super Kev. So. Could be a thing, bit of narrative there. Maybe. Air have hired Paul Hartley. There you go. Darren Garmy is the new Trefellian manager. So that's, he's done that. Walking's still available. A second stalk prince andrew and pizza express he'd be handy for the youth uh, intake as well to be honest evening novishka how are we it's that time where you can tell you can't say that thing yeah very very similar Mr. J is asking some questions. I'm just like, I don't, I don't, I don't know, Mrs. J. I don't know what you're supposed to want me to, to say at this, at this point. So, yeah, right, we're not going for the Carrick job. It's not happening. South Shields could be fun. South Shields could be fun. But then it is England. I feel like Colwyn Bay is kind of thing mrs j i'm trying not to say that on stream because if it gets you know if it gets out then like that's not a thing is it keith curl sacked by south shields get the application in affiliate sunderland excellent let's go for it play defensive football play direct play counter-attacking yes please sunderland till we cry season four <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> it's happened again, everybody. <laughs> we always knew it was going to be this. It could never be anything but. Bring back Curran. <laughs> oh, love Curran. He's still very good. He's still very good. You take him out of our Sunland safe, put him in. Another scar, get the hydrates on. Good shout. Good shout. Who's this lad? Miloslavievich. Montenegrin player that would have been playing for us at, uh, at Dungallon had we stayed for longer. I'm not mentioning the Gloucester manager's job. I was a Scotsman, I'm a stranger in these lands. What fine club do you support? Uh, I'm a Sunderland fan, Judge Jules. I used to be a, uh, a Villa fan, and then they hired Steven Gerrard, and then I said that Villa could get to fuck, essentially. So that was a, that was a thing. I was like, I'll have none of it. So I've then gone back to my uh, my original stomping ground, which is uh, which is Sunderland. So, um, so yeah, so that's where I am. What about yourself? Who's your team? And I should point out as well, I'm also a Scotland fan when it comes to international allegiance. So just uh, so you are very very welcome, Judge. Ponty prayed for the Fireman Sam references. <laughs> you know what? There was part of me thought that earlier on, and uh, and I was just like, oh, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know. Do I do I go for that? If Tony goes to Wales, we need the OG FMT reunion. Yeah. Well, this is the thing. Like, we need the uh, we need Carve Ice back in the situation, don't we? Um, big fan of the Loch Ness Drogba. Big fan, Judge. Massive fan. He's a great player, to be honest. Disappointed by the Well fan. I mean. 
you'd have been more disappointed had you watched us attempt to manage them last season on FM. I was so bad, so bad. But I must admit, I love what um, I love what the uh, what the club do. By the way, with like everything they do in the uh, in the community, all the stuff with mental health, um, giving season tickets away to people who who have who are unemployed. Like it's just we've spent a lot of time admiring what Motherwell have been doing from afar. And um, Rogan will be able to back us up on this. Like it's uh, yeah, they're they're a top. Like, yeah, you've got to be proud of your club to be honest. Get Matt in the corner signing like a deaf person. <laughs> Tiller Swift knowledge is better than your Fireman Sam knowledge. I think my I think my Fireman Sam knowledge is better, surely. It's Norman. Norman Price and then there's a... Uh, was it Bella Italia? Bella Italia, no, that's the that's the, the that's the Italian restaurant in it. Um I don't know. There's Elvis. I mean, yeah, yours is, but that's not hard. Yeah, exactly, exactly. That's what she said. Talapandi. Pondipandi, surely. I mean, do we go for the Pondipreed massives? Bella Lasagna. <laughs> I mean, that's just, come on. That's just a little bit too Italian. Oh, what's the only other Italian thing we can go with? Lasagna? Just call her Bella Lasagna, that'll do. I mean, fucking hell. Ponty Preed, the pride of Ponty. Yeah, Fireman Sam's from Ponty Pandy, Judge, but we've obviously gone with uh, with Ponty Preed. A lot of this stream is nonsense for, for anyone who's new, trying to keep up with this, going, what on earth is he on about? Most of the time, nothing. We can get a link up with uh, Penrick Bois Bear Rangers. Um, we can send players to them. Great. Uh, Carrick got relegated, so probably not Carrick. Uh, Dungannon, title holders, Linfield, they lost it to Glen Torren. What's the, um, how's it finished? Stage wise, appreciate the follow, very kind. Thank you for that. Where's the, uh, where's the stage is what's happened? Who did Dungannon go down? They haven't played that bit yet. Oof. How did they survive? They haven't survived yet. The league has split. They beat Carrick and they beat Glenavon. Playing a 4-4-2. Of course they did. Of course they did. Remember when you ended what was a lovely speech about human rights by calling Claudio on Rinley area racist? <laughs> I pointed out some facts <laughs> that, that had just come to light. And that's the thing. Do you know what I mean? That's, that's, that's all I can say. You know, it was unfortunate that he was in the firing range of what was being said. Nobody's come out to defend Claude Ranieri, have they? No one said, oh no, Tony said something that probably isn't true. Everyone just went, finally, someone who says it. So there you go. So yeah, Carrick, I'm not going for. Ghost, I think they're I just, I just feel that, that would be really, really depressing. Linfield would be crazy because it would be falling upwards. So, like, we have to obviously apply for that. Montrose job, unsuccessful. Oh. That's a shame. That's a shame. Linfield, obviously, is still being considered. Walking. Is it funny for the walking nine to five thing? Mrs. J will find that funny. They didn't go down. Could we do anything with walking? They were expected to get promoted. Luke McCormack. 6,000 seat stadium. Average. Academy. Basic youth. Listen to talk sports and their guests said Sunderland versus Middlesbrough for the playoffs. I mean, you've got to think about it, to be honest. Like, it would be, there'd be a beautiful poetry and a beautiful narrative there, given the fact that it's uh, that it's Tony Mowbray 
walking job unsuccessful. All right, thanks for that. Um, yeah, Tony Mowbray versus uh, Middlesbrough would be would be very interested, uh, very interesting. But you know what? They they're playing brilliantly at the minute, and they are where they are without the Loch Ness Drogba. Like he's only just come back. Obviously, we could go to Bordeaux. Say it with me, Rogie. Where's Bordeaux? Um, what's happened? What Luke McCormack? What 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 happened? Let me let me quickly Google that. What's what's the crap there? Hang on. Oh right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's not. Yeah. Okay. Right. We're not going there. We're not going there. Don't worry. <laughs> the Bordeaux region of France, of course. Exactly. Right. We're not going there. Don't worry. Googled it. Fine. Move on. <laughs> Reggio, not a fan of the Bordeaux challenge from uh, from a few years back. Ponty pre job is still. Bordeaux is actually just south of Ipswich. Technically British. Yeah. I mean, Shamrock Rovers, they're, they're Irish, aren't they? So that's not, not a thing. Can't go there. Welcome in, T Vale. Don't quite know what to say to that, so welcome. Thank you very much. Um, presumably, it's something that's going on on. Uh, Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. South Shields offer us a job interview. <laughs> Interesting times. Interesting times. Right. Let us know what, what's going on with that one then, uh, then Tiava. What's, what's the crack here? Right. Let's have a quick chat, shall we, with, uh, with South Shields. You've developed a reputation for applying for other jobs. I have. I have. I think it's a joke. Okay. <laughs> I figured it would be. I figured it would be. But I needed context, Rogie. Taking a job from Phillips. Phillips is already gone. I would never take a job from Super Kev, but he's already gone, sadly. So so therefore I'm stepping into his uh to his to his size size six shoes. Uh, we probably can't do that again. We probably can't move again, so let's do that. Uh, we're in for a few jobs. Yes, we're exploring our options. You struggled to maintain a strong, strong financial footage. I mean, maybe, maybe. I was about to say Tony could walk to South Shields ground. Then I remembered where he stayed. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's going to take me a wee bit longer now, unfortunately, to uh, to get up the road. But um, good evening from Montrose, said Gabe. Welcome in. Hope you had a fab Christmas and all set for the new year, mate. Love it. Love it. Merry Christmas to you too. Montrose have just turned us down for a job, unfortunately. So, um, would have been nice to have gone there, but never mind. Ooh. Shit on the board. My shield's dropping south, no, but my sword growing north. Backlap, welcome in. Are you able to ease our worries about losing the backing of your players? Hey. Did not air my dirty laundry in public, thank you very much. No way we could do you in real life. We're rotten, hey. But to be fair, we're not in great form right now, so you know. Let's get a decent, uh, a decent atmosphere, shall we? Are you willing to assure us you do a better job of maintaining a good dressing room atmosphere than our previous manager? Yes, I am convinced about that. We parted company with our last manager much sooner than anyone anticipated. Can you offer assurances you are here for the while? I have a I have a proven track record of spending a lot of time at at, uh, at certain clubs, apart from Dungannon. What makes you the ideal candidate to save a club unexpectedly struggling against relegation, having been clear of trouble in mid-season? We're fine. We're fine. We can do this. Can you take charge now? No, I'd rather not. Not at this point. How many games to go? There's three games to go, and they could, they could still go down. What do we, th do we just, should we come in at the end of the, uh, next season and be like, right. Three, 
three matches to learn. That's a, that's a reasonable. Understand the importance of having the right. We're not we're not changing the background at this point. The background. Yes, of course. Yeah, we won't be sacked. Yeah. I'm just thinking more about like, do we do we even bother with these games? We can always have to think about it later, can't we? And be like, oh, I don't really know. I think they're going to want that one over the line quickly, aren't they? Going to quickly jump and see if there's anything else that's like, there you go, Montrose just gone. Russell Martin, Russell Martin's gone there, so. Which is understandable, I suppose, really. I want... I want Colwyn Bay. I don't really know if I want... I don't really know if I want... South Shields right now. Finances are only okay. But they do have a link-up with Sunderland, so we can get some Sunderland players in. Hmm... How did Porter Down finish? That's a good question, Scott. That's a very good question. Shields. I know. Can you check Russell Martin? Which Russell Martin took the job? Or oh, was there two, is there? Uh, so Porter Down a fifth in the championship. So they have gone a little bit up. They're not over yet, but definitely getting there they've definitely improved since I've left it's uh, Russell Martin who is formerly part of Thistle Manager former Wickham Manager and Swansea yeah yeah Refusing to believe his stocks dropped so much from Championship to Scottish third tier. I mean, that's the thing. Maybe he's uh, he's not managed to find a way of falling upwards. He needs to work on that. Institute have been promoted. So there is see this. So there's still some options left, right? South Shields at this point is an option. Not an option. Not an option. Jonathan Hogg's taken over. Interesting choice. TJ lining up any DJ gigs during this winter vacation. They should do, shouldn't they? Get a, get a little bit of a bit of money in on the side, being like, right, you know what? We could uh, spin some wheels. Get me and DJ Pedro go uh, go and bring some cash in. Great. Ponty Preed's still available. About who? About what now? I'm not talking about Reading just yet. Let's wait until the season's over. Pedro versus TJ MMA. I think I think Pedro's going to take it. Surely, he's got he's got the height and the reach advantage. I'll have to get him on the ground and, and work work on the ground. But if if it's if it's straight stand up, then he's he's got me. You know what I mean? Like I'd, I'd go for leg kicks, but I don't think it's gonna. I don't think if it, if, it, if it comes to punching, I think he's gonna win. I imagine he'll win at punching. I can't imagine we'll get Cambridge, but we can't apply for Cambridge, really, can we? Everyone knows that pigeons are cameras. It's a good point, JP. Good point indeed. What Aberdeen most of my pals before the Dons and never sat outside of the manager. There is a, you, you know what? You've, you've kind of got me thinking it because I have thought about the whole pigeon camera thing before. It is a thing. It is absolutely a thing. And I'd put it out of my mind for a wee while, and now I'm all of a sudden back on it going, yeah. You're right. Aberystwyth have been promoted to the JD North Division in Cymru. Don't have a manager though. It certainly weren't fucking happy when Tony was there. <laughs> no, they were not. They were not. They were not. Pop 
Probably pre just probably pre just no one's going anywhere near that job either. Queen's Park. Might be a thing. Barry. The Barry job could be a thing. Barry Town. Oh, go and re reconnect. Bonnie Rig. Could be some interesting jobs coming up. Could be. Bonnie Rig could be fun. Could be decent, that actually. Someone needs to do a Gavin Stacey reference, it's just shit show, I know nothing. I mean, we, we've, 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 we've already done the. Uh, the Taylor Swift references where I got nothing. I could at least I could at least get some of the uh, the Gavin and Stacey references. Glenavon Blues have appointed Sam Downey as their new player manager. There you go. Is it, I mean, how ridiculous would it be if we ended up with the Linfield job? Just thinking out loud. That would be one of the most stupid things I've ever, we've ever come across. I mean, yeah, it would be great, great content. But he's fucking done it again. He's done it again. Is anybody secretly hoping that the Banbridge job comes up and we can go back to Banbridge? <laughs> Make it all better. Crusaders. Uh, so what we're doing, Jules, is we're doing a thing called the British Steel Challenge. The aim is to win everything that's available in England, Scotland, Wales and Northern Ireland. 33 trophies. And Dungannon survived. <laughs> Dungannon survived. Can't believe it. <sighs> Crusaders is a step up. With their Hummel kits and their... No, that's about it, really. <laughs> Hummel kits and being better. Home kit is a Bournemouth kit. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. Let's see what the uh, what the Cinema Crusader, shall we? Okay, I've just Googled Crusaders Belfast and there's a picture of Ian Rush. Not sure if that's a thing. Um, Rivalries with Linfield and Glen Torrance, so there you go. So we've definitely got something uh, kicking on. Anything that we need to know about? It's quite a history of them. The Roy Walker era, say what you see. Here we go. Uh, it's from its members, it elects its committee and its particular ethos with a strong emphasis on community relations. As an example, this is their local connection with Seaview Primary School, who have a long standing connection with the club through fundraisers and charity events, as well as school fates. There we go. That's nice, isn't it? However, the club's serious financial plight. Oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. They've previously played in the Europa League, the Europa Conference, actually, this season. Crusaders is a thing to do that. I don't know if it's say good, but it's not right if the uh, opposition have a goal disallowed. Rushy fronts their public stuff. 
Crusaders got bought out by the Arima Sports mob and are being bastards to the local leagues. Oh, no. Why? Why the team from just horrible people? Can somebody, like, find a way to, like, not have TJ's morally good adventure happen? Do you know what I mean? Like... Singapore based with links to Ian Rush Foundation buying grassroots football clubs as clubs desperate for cash. What could possibly go wrong? Ian Rush backing company. Oh, dear. right. Okay, fine. So maybe, maybe Crusaders isn't a thing then. Fine. Where's Distillery? They're in the third division. We're not crusading. Nope. Well, what we'll do is, if they offer us a job interview, we'll, we'll turn it down and then we'll, we'll be like, ah, nah, did it for lols, for lols, in your face, Crusaders. Yeah. Then they'll be like, oh, why? Because of the whole, you know, being bastards thing. And they'll be like, oh, fair. Altrincham? Is Altrincham a thing? They have some sort of scrap metal company as their logo. Scrap scrap metal J. J. Davison. Altrincham is a magical place. I think you're getting mixed up with Alton Towers. Got two Vanarama National Leagues, two FA trophies, a conference league cup. Dulwich Hamlet jobs available. Dagger on Redbridge. The daggers. Gloucester. I mean, look at that ground. <laughs> look how bad that looks. Stadium condition, very good. I don't think so. I don't think so. We'll put in for it, but I don't I don't think that's the job we want. Dulwich are the one we want. Like if we can get it, Dulwich is the one we want, right? Shrewsbury, too too high. Boreham Wood. I don't think we'll get Boreham Wood either. Actually we might do. With Wood Army as the front. Boreham Wood could be interesting. But yeah, let's go in for the Hamlets. That's the one we're after. We'll go for Ebb's Fleet as well. There you go. A few, a few jobs have come up. Stevenage could be a one as well. So we want that one, and then we want Colwyn Bay to hurry up and be, and be announced, and then we can get ourselves in, right? We've put in for Ebb's Fleet. As I say, Barry Town's an option. Are you open to working abroad? Yeah. I mean, obviously, like, by abroad, you mean, like, not Northern Ireland. Are you, are you interested in working back on the mainland at all? We could do. We could work on the mainland. We have to see. <laughs> Excited about talks of potential foreign jobs. Ooh. Hydrate, absolutely. Was there a second? No, no, Dan, no second at all. We just walked. We, we just went, ah, this is not working out for us. Let's leave. So we just upped our sticks and and left. And then Doug Gannon stayed up. Yeah, we don't tell him that bit, friendly ghost. That's not, didn't need to know that bit. You know, we don't do seconds on stream, not during the main save. We do sackings, we do sackings in the in the beta, and after and outside of the beta, we 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 walk. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's how it works. I 
because we have nothing if we don't have our pride. That's that's the way we need to look at it, right? Uh, where's Cheltenham? League two. Cheltenham's probably a little bit too high, I think, to be honest. Oxford, 18th in League two. Again, that's far too high. I'm not using my Christmas wish for you to get that job in Scotland. Oh, I appreciate you, Rogie. Thank you for that. We're not going to Crusaders, though. We're not. We've said no now. Not now you've, you've shown us that, you know, horrible thing that happens. Why can't Colwyn Bay hurry up? Like, shall I try and, like, sort of convince them to, like, hurry up and make a decision? And, you know, I mean, they've already been, been relegated, so should we be like, look, shall we... Should we come in? Should we declare interest in the Colin Bay job? Just wondering whether or not they're just going to give that guy another, another chance or not. Owen Flynn, if that is in fact his real name. I want the Dulwich job, Mr. Jameson's moral and good adventure. And that could, see, that's the thing, that could be a thing. But I also think that we have to get the difficult leagues out of the way first. Still. So there's pass so it's like a sort of double edged sword, isn't it? Dulwich would be great. I think H two H two had a save with Dulwich. Isn't that where Thatcher retired to? Dunno, I don't know. Well, she, she was from Grantham, wasn't she? So I don't know where she retired to, but not sure. There's the there's obviously the, been that sort of documentary about the recent as well, where Peter Crouch going and helping out. That's a return to the mud, yeah. Um, so is is Hell United a uh, a thing? Yeah, that's where that's where Thatcher lives, isn't it? Hell United, yeah. A few promotions that we can look around. There is that. There is that. Luke Harris has left Britain Ferry in the Cymru South to go and join Pontypridd. Look at that, though. I mean, that's a badge and a half, isn't it? Founded in 2009, nicknamed the Reds. Really, They really thought about that one for a bit, didn't they? You can't retire from a personification of evil. That is a very good point, actually. Britain Ferry, Lowenzell. It's a merger club. It's a merger club. There's nothing really in their uh, in their club's history. It's not nothing against them, to be honest. I'm not a fan there. I've said it. Okay, <laughs> fair enough. <laughs> I'll do. I'll do. Let's, just, let's cut straight to the chase. No, don't want that one. Move on. Get some more trifle. Hopefully someone will uh, be ready to offer us a job at this point, or at least interview us. Hmm. Tony, you appear to have spent the last few weeks eating trifle, is that correct? Yes. Yes, it is. I mean, it is depressing when the recommendations from my PA, presumably, are saying, um, you do realise there's a couple of half-star jobs available, don't you, Tony? Like, have you considered them? They, they'd be good, right? And that's when I'm like, oh, it's, it's not really gone as well as I thought. Is it true there's a clause in your contract that allows you to be paid in trifle? I mean, we can't talk about the ins and outs of my contract at this point. Um, so, you know, it's uh, it's just one of those things. It's one of those things. I prefer the uh, confidentiality clause to remain in place if if possible. Thank you. Um, Dan, at this point, a stream without trifle will be weird. <laughs> Imagine that. 
Uh, have you enjoyed Tony Strange recently? Yeah. Is he three stone heavier? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. The athletic got him out of his FMT deal by offering one premium trifles. Rich only buys the value. I mean, this is this is this is full price Tesco's full price with athletic money. You know, not, it's not even got a yellow sticker or anything, and it's and it's still in date. You know, I could have eaten this on the fourth of January, but instead I thought, you know what, I'll eat it now. I mean, not not no club card. Come on, Dan, I'm not made of money, like. You know, I can't afford 17 quid for a trifle. Or, or but it's £1.85 if you use your um, if you use your club card. You yeah. know. 4th of January, how the other half live? <laughs> yeah, yeah, what cost of living crisis? <laughs> old, uh, old Tory Jameson's back out again, isn't he? <laughs> I love this stream. I think this is just so. It's, it, oh, it's just perfect. It's everything it needed to be, you know. When I was sort of like trying to put it together, I was like, "Shall we? Shall we start like streaming? That'll be good, won't it?" Like, you never quite know how people are going to take you or how your sort of like your humour is going to be perceived across the uh, across like the internet and stuff. Because it's like, I don't know. Like, are they going to get it? Is it going to work? Like. And then all of a sudden we're sat here just like, you know, going, trifle conversations, please. Like, yeah, there we go. This is what he does with our subs, full fucking price trifles, everyone. Yeah, exactly. And if you can resub, that'd be much appreciated because I've now got a trifle addiction to uh, to fund. Um, this is interesting. They're now suggesting that we look at the two-star jobs, which are Oxford, Cambridge, Shrewsbury and Cheltenham. I don't think we'll get them, but... Is it worth it? Is, is Ox? I mean, that's a big jump, isn't it? League two. Trifle of incoming. Yes. Yes, Dan. Cambridge got relegated to League two. Oxford all day. I don't know if we'll get. See, the thing is, I don't know if we'll get any of these, but. Mrs. J banished the spare room for, using a, for buying a Sainsbury's trifle. <gasps> Could you imagine? Could you imagine? Ugh. The very thought of it. Shrewsbury Tuffins is not quite. <clears throat> They've got Tom Bloxham. That could be all we need. Isn't it Oxford over car park behind the goal? They used to. They, they've moved from the Kassam, didn't they? And Cheltenham. I don't. I mean, Cheltenham's just a race course, let's be honest, so. I don't think we go for these ones. I think these are a little bit too high profile, but we'll put in for them anyway, just like for, just to say that we've done something today. Mrs. J, what have you done with your, what have you done with your day? Oh, I applied for a job at Oxford. What, the university? Yeah. How long before a trifle from Waitrose? <laughs> new year, new me, right? But yeah, be a great one, that one. Colwyn Bay is still insecure. Come on, Colwyn Bay, please. Tony sat in the corner of his bedroom, shivering from trifle withdrawal, bracing the local child's house on their birthday and just demolishes their jelly and custard. It's not enough, he cries in agony. <laughs> Squirting whipped cream into his mouth at the same time. Ah! <laughs> I think you've all seen how I live. <laughs> this is a little window into my life going, oh, Mrs. J puts up with a lot. Yeah, yeah, she's a, she's a strong lady, is Mrs. J. Yeah, she promised to love me through better and worse, and this is this is definitely the worst. But you know what? I don't even think this is the worst. I think this is like probably about the middle of where I normally am. 
Martin's taken over the Blenavon Blues, so that's, you know what I mean, there's a thing. The Abadare jobs available. I mean, look, that their pitch just is literally, like you could hire that pitch. I'm worried that if we, that if we took that job, there's a possibility that one of our matches would be delayed because uh, a local works team have hired out one of the pitchers. So, is this trifle phase better or worse than Azerbaijan? I mean, hey, you lot all, you lot all helped with the Azerbaijan thing, right? Abadeh, I know someone from there, dear. I don't think it's a thing. The pitch rental is the wage budget, yeah. I don't think that's a good idea. Wage budget, £680 a week. Going back down, back down again, aren't we? Azerbaijan was peak narrative, it was amazing. It was, it was brilliant to, to leave Aberdeen in the way that we did without getting the sack and that annoyed so many people. It was That was like, oh, that was so much fun. And then to take the Azerbaijan job the next day that was, yeah, that was that was fantastic, absolutely fantastic. I loved that. So much fun. Never to be repeated. I don't think. I can't see that ever being repeated. I think when I need to find a team with pink and yellow, the Trifle Boys. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I left Aberdeen before they made me leave. Bambridge jobs available. You can't stop me. You can't stop me. I'm going back in. <laughs> DJ Pedro's still there. Right. We're going back. You would all hate me if I went back to Banbridge, wouldn't you? Is that just, just to confirm? Am I right? We can't go backwards. I mean, some would say, right? that we haven't necessarily gone backwards or forwards there rogie straight on this year's peterborough maybe we needed to go away to come back to appreciate what we had maybe we went away and looked, look lads i've looked around right we hate you anyway <laughs> there is that <laughs> there is definitely that i'll take it and we fail it would be really funny to go back. See, that's the thing. That's the thing. See? This is why I love this stream. No shame at robbing a child of their jelly and custard, but oh no way, we can't drop a division. <laughs> yeah, exactly, yeah. I'm sitting there going, no, 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 Tony. No, no. You take that trifle, that's fine, but you do not, you do not go backwards on a challenge that you are clearly not going to win, right? <laughs> you are struggling so badly right now that you should never consider going back to Banbridge. Leamington jobs available, Hendon jobs available, Landudno Junction jobs available. They got relegated though, so we can't get Landudno jumps. Linfield have offered us a job. <laughs> Linfield have offered us an interview. <laughs> Oh dear. This is where we need to now decide going, right? Colwyn Bay, there it is. Finally. You need to leave leave Northern Ireland for my own sanity. What? I don't have any sanity. It's long gone. We know that. Did they not see what you did at Dungannon? They saw nothing. Right, first of all, let's let's decline the Crusaders, shall we? Because we don't like, we don't like what they've done, right? Call a bear job unsuccessful. We were literally hoping to get to Wales. That's what we wanted. We wanted the Welsh job. I say we, I wanted the Welsh job. Whew. 
Crusaders, the value trifle eating cunts. <laughs> Dulwich or Linfield, I think you're probably right there. Right, let's go and see what Linfield have to say. I mean, look at this for a boardroom. This is this is a proper thing, isn't it? Look at that. Hello, can you handle the step up? Absolutely. Do I ask for the chance? I think I ask for a chance, don't I? Gamble on me. It's the best decision that you'll ever make. Ask for a chance. Why have you felt it's acceptable to apply for a number of jobs? I mean, we won't do it again, honest. Can you explain why you're in the running for jobs? I'm exploring my options. I'm a trophy magnet. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Why have you struggled to maintain a strong financial footing in a current job? We will, we will do better. Any worries? I'm just going to promise everything to them like literally how do you feel about being potentially replaced by a manager who's very much liked I mean would you be comfortable working with Pat Fenlon yes we would yeah absolutely we would no changes your honour by the end of the season win a domestic cup and then continue to win the Premier Division this is too much stress this is this is far too much stress. <laughs> like I don't know I don't know if I could. I have some reservation regarding the fact you've never managed this country. Loads, loads of, of times actually on the game, but you know can you explain why you're willing to take a drop down? I'm looking for a new challenge. Can you ease our concerns about the problems you've had in maintaining a strong dressing room atmosphere? Yeah, that's fine. I think we just have to give promises, really, aren't we? Tony Jameson, the only manager that can fall upwards. Not yet, not yet, Dan, not yet. Um, they're exploring options. Have you struggled to maintain a strong financial footing? Look, there, that's fine. We're just going to have to keep making all these... Uh, we just have to promise all the way, aren't we? I think we've, give, I think we've given too many promises. Do you know what I mean? I think we've said, I think we've said too much and went, yeah, 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 totally, we'll do, the, do it all. Um, what we actually mean is we're, we're desperate can you please just like you know give us a chance right let's do some actual answers with these other clubs shall we Is it as if Cambridge is stupid enough to offer us an interview? Like, Bridge, let's see what they're gonna say. I mean, we've we've been busy today, lads. You know, a bit of a. I think we probably did most of these by by uh, by Zoom, I reckon. Yeah. They're all very much uh, focusing on this financial issue, aren't they? Do you have any questions for us, Tony? Uh, can I have a trifle? <laughs> Northampton. Northampton will be fun. We like Northampton. Just click 
everything through. Shrewsbury, I'm, I'm not massively fussed about Shrewsbury to be honest. It's really just the fact that we've got Tom Bloxham there. Boreham Wood could be interesting though. Where are salary expectations? Three trifles a day and overtime trifle. <laughs> Tony, is this an issue? It's a trifling matter. I'm trying to take a desk call application of FM, then I ended up unemployed because I promised too many teams I would join them. <laughs> that could happen as well. That could happen. I will assure you do a better job of maintaining a good dressing room. Yeah, it'll be fine. Don't worry. It's all going to be fine. Ebsley as well. Let's see what Ebsley reckon. It's only a small step down. I mean, If we paid you a grand a week, then I get a big trifle in the country. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Living a massive, massive trifle. Anna, there's a job that's still going. Why did you decline Crusaders interview? Well, did you know, right? Because work with them. Come on now, be serious. Yeah. Ems are sponsored by Clean Energy. Okay, nice. They're good as well then. They're also very good people. Where did it go wrong? I mean, what, what? What do you mean? What do you mean? Some of these, some of these questions. Just no, no further questions, Your Honour. <laughs> right. In order of preference, then. In order of preference. Is it Linfield, Dulwich Hamlet, Bambridge? Is that the is that the order? Kilmarnock, Altrincham, Hamlet, <laughs> Linfield, Dulwich, Ebbsfleet, Bambridge. Move Ebbsfleet up. <laughs> feel done what did what do they see we're managing in Europe <laughs> we fucking are the other current the wrong current who was their last manager who was their last manager Jamie Mulgrew he left as caretaker Tommy Wright was the last manager he's now at Cardiff Ricky 15 months appreciate that thank you very very much indeed buddy how how this season of Hannah's video is going to be a classic. <laughs> what happened? What happened on this game? Did they get a takeover? Do we know? I just, I don't. This is the thing, and we're just going to have to. Linfield. Right. Are they. 
are they linked to anything bad or the fourth oldest club in uh, in Northern Ireland the home ground has been Windsor Park so we play at the National Stadium as well <sighs> current manager is David Healy their website's dreadful How do we do this? How does this happen as anybody? Rangers fans like Linfield. Oh, do they? Are they royally? Oh, dear. Oh, no, no, no. Right, okay, so here's where we potentially get a bit of an issue then, is it? <sighs> there is a thing. <laughs> They've won that many trophies. It doesn't fit on the on the graphic. Scannel. So, so ironically, so yet again, the way this is going to work for narrative purposes was we got beat by Dungannon. And that then prompted us to apply and go and get the Dungannon job. We got hammered by Linfield and we're about to be offered the Linfield job. You've got to take it. This is your chance of getting the bulk of Northern Ireland out of the way. Is this the real idea of British Steel to manage every club in the country? <laughs> I'm doing build. I'm doing build a nation again, aren't I? Um, okay, we're gonna have to do it, then, aren't we? Um, I can't get sacked. Though. I can't get sacked. We've just got to win. Like. There's pressure now. This is the problem. This is huge pressure. I am now reading a bit about the their opinions. What do I do now? What do I do? Because this does also create another problem, doesn't it? All the off the field stuff. What do we do? What do we do? Uh, sell your morals for a holiday. Tiramisu is just a European trifle. <laughs> I mean, look, we know this is this is the job that wins us. Surely wins us the uh, the Northern Irish League, right? We're in Europe. I mean, they finished a long way behind Glen Torren, though. To be honest. I mean, we could get sacked pretty quickly, Richie. You're right. We could take it and be and be out there fairly swiftly. <laughs> yes, no trifle. I mean, trifle's clearly going to win, isn't it? It's like getting off a TNS in Wales. You have to take it if you want to win. True. How much have we got to spend? 850 grand. Fucking hell, 850 grand. 33,000 pound wage budget. Boreham Wood have, are going to take 500 quid off us. <laughs> we owe, we owe Boreham Wood 500 quid. <laughs> we can offer you the job, but have you got 500 quid? Um, invest this into a timeshare um 
I'm probably gonna gonna not bother with boring wood because I can't afford to. I don't really want to have to pay to be a uh, to be their new manager. So let's walk away of that one. Have you actually won any silverware? I've won three trophies. I've won three, right? Depends on what's important: morals or trophies. I don't know. I don't know. Should we delay it for now? Delay it for a week? Wind Linfield is easy. Yes, yeah, essentially it becomes Winfield, doesn't it? Theoretically. No one has voted for no. True. True. Linfield is easy. <laughs> You know what? That's a hundred percent correct. Have you met me? I could make this so much more complicated. Altrigham have offered me a job with no transfer budget. Twelve grand for Dagenham and Redbridge. Gloucester are interested. Two grand for Ebb's Fleet. Oh. Tony could lose the Premier League with Man City. Yeah, probably. Probably. Because I'd refuse to do. I'd refuse to do it. I refuse to do what what works. Ebb's Fleet. Ebb's Fleet are morally good. Dulwich Hamlet are the morally good one that we really want, though, isn't it? Elgin in the Champions League after six seasons. That is awesome. That is awesome, I must admit. Um. Serious question is, do you want a star going through England just yet? No, not really. That's the thing, I don't really want to do that just yet. I think... I think as, as difficult as it is, I'm going to have to go to Linfield, aren't I? I'm going to have to. Because you're right, we need to win some trophies this is what's left in Northern Ireland right the Premiership obviously we were never going to get that with, with Banbridge at this point we could potentially get the Championship maybe right the Northern Irish Cup and the League Cup possible um Callum Wilson, former Sunderland player. Just get Northern Ireland done. 850 grand. Like, the thing is, everyone else is not going to get... Like, 850 grand transfer budget. No other club is going to give me that. Really, other. So... I'm kind of going to have to just accept it, aren't I? I'm just going to have to take the Linfield job. And we're all going to have to work out how to win. <laughs> Three at the back. Yeah, wait for the full week. Delay Altrincham. Delay Dagenham and Redbridge. I'm disappointed in myself, in a sense. And then you have your stream start moment for the next one. Yeah. There's there's not many other streamers would sit being almost upset that they've been offered the top job in the uh, in in the league, would they? Do you know what I mean? Like sitting there just going, oh, I can't believe, can't believe I've been offered these these jobs. This is bullshit. Like. I guess the only other the only other job that would be interesting would be Banbridge. <laughs> D 
Dulwich Hamlets have offered us a job, but that's only 45 grand as well. Not many of the streamers have a trifling addiction, exactly, yeah. No transfer budget for Northampton. We've got to go back. We've got to, we've got to at least interview for Bambridge. I can pick up where I left off. It'd be fine. I mean, to be fair, this is like... This is ridiculous, isn't it? I've, I've been offered the, the top job. And here I am going, oh, you know, it'd be quite interesting, a job in the championship. So, so the so the the interesting thing with with Dulwich, right, would be the cup. There's the FA Trophy, and that's it. We'd literally be going for one trophy and possibly, well, possibly promotion. Linfield, we would be going for. A stack of trophies. I think we have to do... I think we have to do Linfield. I think we have to go there. Because the way that the, the, that the save works, the save relies on us winning stuff. And we have to put ourselves in the position to win as many things as possible. Whether whether that works or not, I, I don't know. Gloucester, Oxford have offered us a job interview. Like, look, let's walk away from Gloucester. We're not bothered about Cheltenham. We're not bothered about Oxford. Like, we ju we've just got to do it. We've just got to go for Linfield. And that's that's how it's going to be. Like, I'll have to take it on the chin for a little bit about their political views. Why have I been so vocal about stuff? Do it, your reputation will get boosted. We get to manage in Europe. Got a lot of money. Bambridge have approached us. <laughs> Change of plan, everybody. <laughs> We're going back home. <laughs> what do we think? <laughs> Evening, Riverside. How are you, buddy? It's Tony Jameson's Bam Bambridge or Joni Tamerson's Linfield. I don't know. I don't know what to do. I know what to do. But... The heart says... The heart says Bambridge... You looked happier at managing Bambridge than you did at winning trophies at Linfield. <laughs> I know, I know, 50 times the wage budget. It's a trophy challenge, you need to win trophies. Exactly. That's it. We have to win. We have to just win stuff. Eight hundred and fifty thousand pounds. I'll have the same quandary Rangers and Celtic. I won't, cause I won't. I won't put him for the Rangers job. That's the problem. I've unfortunately was unaware of uh, Linfield's political <laughs> leanings. Um, I didn't realise that they were they were that side of the of the divide. One season. Alice Sims has been recalled. Oh. I mean, this, this stream just gets worse. Worse and worse. Make the choice. 
Linfield or Bambridge? I haven't voted for Bambridge, but someone else in the chat has voted for Bambridge and it wasn't me. The Glen Torren job is not free at the minute. No, that's correct. Um, the Glen Torren job is free. <laughs> oh, hang on. And they want to play defensive football and Mark Lloyd Lewis as well. <laughs> Unsuccessful. So close, so close. We all know which job I'm gonna to have to go for, don't we? I know, I know. Let's start the negotiations. Two year contract. Sign the lad from Glen Torrent. Oh, now we're talking. It's a thing. It's happened. We've fallen upwards yet again. Is that how do we keep doing this? Literally, how do we keep doing it? Eyebrows have been raised, like literally everything has been raised. This is stupid, absolutely stupid. We rejected the offer from Bambridge. I'm really sorry, Bambridge. But remember, we have to come back to Northern Ireland at some point. So we'll come back to Bambridge again at some point and we'll we'll we'll, we'll reconnect with them. We rejected the offers from Bambridge. We rejected the offers from Dulwich Hamlet. We rejected Northampton Town, Ebbsfleet, and two other unnamed teams. Oh dear. Linfield finished second. We're expected to win the league. So basically, we have to win the title, or we're sacked. This job will see him come against his former club, Dungannon Swifts. Oh dear. He arrives with a record of 80 wins, that's good. And he's won two cups. So it, in a sense, it doesn't read too badly. This is media prediction first. 59 trophies they've won. They won the Premier League 59 times. They've won the Northern Irish Cup 46 times, eight Bet McLean League Cups, four Charity Shields, one All Ireland Cup, which is now extinct, 44 County Antrim Shields, an All Ireland Champions Cup, a Northern Ireland Gold Cup, 30 times for that, sorry, 13 Steel and Sons Cups, 12 McComb Travels Coaches Intermediate Cups, the North South Irish Cup once, Blanksit Cup. Five McElroy Cups, four Road Ferry Cups, 17 Northern Irish Ulster Cups, 22 Northern Irish City Cups, 24 Belfast Charity Cups, and one Irish Tyler Cup. 4 4 2. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Win the trophies, but not smile when you win them. Balance everything out. Yeah. We're gonna have to do that. We'll just do that. And that that scandal lad, that scandal lad looked pretty impressive, to be honest. Be competitive in the, <laughs> be competitive in the Europa Conference League. What is what is this? How is this save running, where now we are being expected to challenge in Europe? We're going to hate this. Aren't I just so? I am going to hate this. Win the Premier League. Win a domestic cup. That's by the end of next, like the following season. After that, continue to just keep winning the league. <sighs> Go full bad guy, buy the best young players around. Yeah. Like, we're going to, we're going to England for players. Like, just... Here we go then. 
Right. EOS 5. Mr. Jameson's morally bankrupt loads of money to... <sighs> I don't even know. I don't even know what to say now. I'm sorry if I've disappointed anybody. Manager timeline. Look at all this. This was this was nice, wasn't it? When we were at Banbridge, that was lovely. All those lovely things there, you know. Then, um, then, intermediate cup winners, nice. Promoted, lovely. Things were going well. Hundred games. Then, here we go again. Pass, 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 pass. Oh, resigned to leave to go to Porter Down. That was good. Um, no, it wasn't. That was terrible. We left to go to Dungannon. Excellent. All went badly, won a trophy. I quit, and here we are, Linfield. I can't believe we've done this. I can't believe it. How have we managed to fall upwards? None of this makes sense at all. At all. Let's have a very, very quick look at the squad. Ron Ferguson looks like an actual goalkeeper. Oh, these players are actually going to be talented as well. Callum Wilson, he's at, I've got him at Sunderland. He is a decent player. He's going to be fine. Owen O'Brien, 19 years old. Better than anybody we've already had on the save. Wanted by Southampton. So even if even if we don't keep him, we're going to make loads of money on him. Fire Matt Kennedy. What's happened to Matt Kennedy? Where is he? Where am I looking? Where's Matty Kennedy? Oh, here. 34-year-old. Aberdeen. Ooh. Knocks ball past opponents. He's not the top player, so it's possible we might get rid of him, but then he played really well. He's already transferred us to Rogue. He'll be gone, don't worry. Don't worry. Joel Cooper's going nowhere, though. 31 year old. Carl, Carl Kinsella looks very good. And Cami Palmer looks very good. Well, there's the two, there's the two central midfielders sorted, isn't it? Right, let's go and be shits then. How much? How much for him? Tony, please come on stream with a fake moustache. <laughs> it's a me. It's a do. It's a Johnny Tamerson. Hate mustache and a monocle. I've so I've, I've I've undertaken interviews at Portadown, at Dungannon, at Ogdenville. I mean, brilliant. Kieran McGookin. I mean, what? What a stupid, stupid street. How have we ended up where we are? They had a they had a, a friendly against. No, they didn't have a friendly. This was Champions League pathway against Shakhtar. Money, we've got money flying in all over the place. So, Bet McLean Cup, County Antrim First Shield. Okay, so we might be able to do that as well. Irish Champions Cup. Oh, there's loads more things. The SPFL Trust Trophy as well. Right, there's a lot to do. There's a lot. It made sense. It made sense. Tick attacker, I presume. Vertical tick attacker. Move the ball. Vertical tick attacker. Four four two. Four two three one. Guy incognito. <laughs> Diamond. Let's just go with that for a minute. We don't we don't really know how they're gonna play.
think I need to have several things. <laughs> exactly, exactly, friendly ghost. <laughs> That's exactly what it is. <laughs> oh, right. I don't know. I don't know how we've done this. If anybody can explain it, feel free to try and help explain it. But it don't work. It don't work. Um, let's go and raid. Okay. Tomorrow's New Year's Eve. I can't imagine we're going to be streaming tomorrow night. Myself and Mrs. J is probably going to hang out and um, and chill for a little bit. So what we will do now is we'll go and drop into... Let's go and see Henry, actually. You know what? Henry's online. Let's go and show him some love. Um, appreciate, genuinely appreciate everybody who's been in, like, all year doing this stuff. This has just been, like, super cool. Um, appreciate all the support that we've had over... Um, just yeah, since, since we've been doing what we've been doing. Actually, no, Henry's been going four hours. He looks like he might be wrapping up. Fuck it. We'll still go for it. Um, yeah, appreciate everyone who's who's been in. Like, genuinely, it's awesome. Happy Hogmanay to everyone. We will see you next year. Mad. Take it easy, everyone. Big love. Go and give Henry some love as well. See you all soon. Take care. Bye now.